Hello. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. New followers, Machikone follow and people. Thank you. I was, I was tabbed out. <laughs> hello. Good morning, good morning. Fripps is my friend, my IRL friend. Hi! <laughs> he just messaged me on uh, on Facebook. Happy Wednesday! Happy Wednesday indeed! I, uh... Let's, 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 let's get out of here. Let's get out of this. Thank you for the floor, Lefloor! Thank you! Um... Something very fun happened. Where's my name? I joined an FC! <laughs> I have cool LGBTQ tag on my character now. I might keep that on at all times. Like, normally I have my name on, uh... Just when I'm in combat. So that it's like a, it, I know if I'm in combat or not, but like, I, I like having the LGBTQ flag. I, I am loving the game. I, I, I love this game very much. It's, it's my favorite game. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to carry on with MSQ or if I wanted to like do a dungeon just to like have a warm up, maybe? You can do that. Just a little warm up. Um, I need to repair my gear though. Let's uh let's keep for a little dungeon. Alliance radar, read scenario, trials, leveling. Oh, 50, 60, 70. There's some dungeons that I haven't done for the first time, so let's uh where's my quest log? I haven't oh there's a bunch of them that I haven't done at all. Um, yeah, all of these, like, Amdapoki, Faris Sirius, Copperfell Mines. Let's just do the 50, 60, 70 relax and see what I get. And repair my gear. You wanted something to watch while crafting, you think it sounded like the perfect one. Oh, I hope that, um, I hope that's the case. <laughs> what are you crafting? What are you making? I love crafting. I was, uh, I was bullying my poor friend Ghost into crafting last night. They were trying to do their challenge log so that they would get more people in their barracks. Speaking of barracks, I should probably check if I can upgrade my grand company rank. Uh, Menda? Arms Menda, okay. Anything else? I'll just repair all of it. Um, yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. Collectible for scripts. Ah! Are you making the, the pancakes or the Saikon Baravoir? Tittle pancakes. 2 a.m. bullying. It wasn't 2 a.m. It was 1 a.m. <laughs> Au revoir, yeah. Should mention I'm not uh I'm not new to this game. <laughs> I am um fairly Oh we could do, oh we could do Mandeville. Oh, we could. I'll do that that can be like another day. We'll do a Mandeville stream. I think that'll be really funny. But um 
Yeah, I'm. This is this is. Oh, that's my second playthrough of uh, the MSQ. Right? Can I can I get promotion? Commander Swift. Hello. Shadows uncast. Special assignment. The mild dark hold. Oh, maybe I could do that then. You know what? Let's leave the queue, and let's go do the mild dark hold. Be good with that comment. Yeah, about the Psycon Baravoir. <laughs> I'm also a carpenter man. Right. Uh... Oh, and before anything, we need to give Horshafon a big kiss on the lips. You lovely man. Mwah. Okay, that's done. Reminds me of that shit post on Twitter that was like, content, all I do is log in, jump down to the first floor of the Forgotten Night, slap Sudoku's ass and call it a day. Me runs in, kisses horse font, pulls it away. Also, my cold is like almost, almost gone. I'm just a little bit scratchy and a tiny bit coffee. Uh, is this my dark cold? Yes. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, enter. Does anyone want to do? Anyone want to do this? If anyone's online, just you. I... Grab you by the scruff of the neck. <laughs> you can join. Okay. Let's go. Ah, uh, double summoner? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Right. The mild dark hold. Yeah. How is everybody? How is everything, Yan? Oh, we've got a new, uh, the emote got enabled. The, 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 uh, where is it? Ta-da! We've got an emote! <laughs> it took a month, but we've got it. We finally have an emote. It's for um, subscribers only at the moment because you need to have... I need to have been streaming for like, uh, six... No, 60 days. 60 days before I can have follower only emotes. And I'm still baby, so yay! Spam the new emote! That was made by my papa. And um, I've asked my, my, my darling. <gasps> Thank you for the sub! <laughs> I've asked my darling, my, my darling girlfriend and my dear best friend to work on some other emotes to fill up the rest of the, uh, fill up the rest of the slots. I didn't want to ask them to draw the uh, emotes and then have to wait like a month or so for them to appear. I didn't want them to like rush them out before it could even happen. Have we? We've gone the wrong way, haven't we? Yeah. 
it's okay. I just realized our tank is called Waste Bin. Oh, I love silly names. I noticed in the FC there's someone called Toilet Paper and I, I, I love that so much. They, they rest, okay. Waste bin, no! Take my, take my shitty heal. Yeah, 300 HP. <laughs> the people that say that physic is pointless, I point you to this situation right here. Waste bin would have been. Waste bin would have kicked the bucket! <laughs> Alright, let's go! Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. Okay. Ow! Me. Ah, oh, let's do a nice little warm up. And then uh, everything is going wrong. No, it's okay. It's fun. It's fun. It's good. Waste bin, no! got reses for days. He's been wasted. <laughs> that pun? <laughs> we like puns here. Also, Ochiel Tamar, are you in the FC? Father has arrived! Papa! The emote is working! The emote is here! Yay! <laughs> you need to stay in the light of the crystal. Should you invest your You know, I like, I, I logged in and I saw the. Hold on. Okay, okay, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Um, I saw the. I'd been accepted into the FC and I, I, I went to look at who was online and. Estrogen Bestrogen is probably one of the best names I've ever seen in this game. And I like to think I'm a connoisseur of good names in this game. On my uh, on my home server, there's uh, there's this little couple that hang out by the old Etherite Plaza, and um, one of them is called Unfortunate Accident, and the other one is called My Condolences, 
end, but you do not separate them. They are always together. It's a good combo, yeah. I've, um, I've been in a dungeon before with someone called Coupler and uh, Sugma or something. Like, they were both these nuts. Need to pull him into. Pull him into the light. Pull him into the light. Yeah! Best of all, I don't think they're from our server because they have wonder attacks. Wait, they're not from. They're not from our server? They just turn up and just stand around. <laughs> That's awesome. Can I look at my FC while I'm in here? No, I can't. Okay. Light. Back to the light. Yeah, we did it. Can I get the sexy thing? Uh, that's not the sexy thing I wanted. Okay, I've 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 worn the tank. Not to overpop. Waste bin, no. Waste bin, no. Oh god. <laughs> Waste bin, no. Uh oh. Uh Oh. I tried! I tried to warn him! Okay, he's being a good sport. Waste spin is being a good sport. That's the... That's, that's what we want to see. This game has the best names. Like... In a while, you could have like really funny names, but also like being able to have a surname opens infinite possibilities. I've seen Tesco Express and Tesco meal deal. I think my favourite one is uh, hot dog fart muck book uh, hot dog fart muck butt noises. That's that's the best one I ever <laughs> saw. Oh my god! Papa, thank you for the gift subs! Papa! Thank you! Emma cry! Ugh. You got paid today. I got paid too! <laughs> Happy payday! Get that bread. I traded myself to a case of... Uh... Tasty, tasty energy drinks. <laughs> Get that bread? Bread? I am ready. Come. <laughs> I 
I can't wait for us to get to Stormblood. So I can go feral in that in in, in the last dungeon. That's another one of my favourite things to do. Going feral in the last dungeon of Stormblood and the last trial of Stormblood. And finding everyone else is finding out everyone else is going feral too. <laughs> Um, so after this we're gonna do some more MSQ. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get but if we like we can do Mandeville next time or should we do like I mean like, oh, Mandeville's fun though. Yeah Mandeville for Friday. How does that sound? Get some Saturday morning cartoon energy going. Some, some silly stuff. For those of you who don't know, the Mandeville storyline is really silly. It's like a it's like a detective show, but a really dumb one. is getting bombarded. No, boss. No. After the stream on Monday and sometime yesterday, we uh, we did the near raids for boss with boss. They hadn't done them, and their, their favorite thing in the world is Neo. <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun because they were just screaming the whole time, and I was like, I know what's going to happen, and it doesn't mean anything to me because I've not played Neo, but I know that this is going to mean something to you. <laughs> and they were like predicting, predicting certain things in the fights and certain bosses that were going to turn up, and I was just like, How do you know this is going to happen? Is this like, is this what Neo is all about? <laughs> I was playing the other day, I got my chocolate boat, ah yes, and my friend was texting around in the fat Moogle man that sang Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes! It does sing, it sings like a Moogle rendition of Nightmare Before Christmas. I have that mount, it's, it's really cute. We, uh, we did that by, on Monday? No, on the fr last Friday, I think. It's, it's really silly. <laughs> Stretch? Okay. Oh, my back clicked. Oh, my old bones. A little leggy swaggle. Yeah. What were they feeding that thing? What did you name your chocobo? Swift Talon. What was the reasoning behind that? <clears throat> oh, it sounded cool. <laughs> On my main, my trucker bro is called PP. Pee -pee. Like after the uh, the item label thing. <laughs>
like uh my girlfriend and their brother uh both named their chocolate bros the same thing without realizing <laughs> and kitty you'll have to confirm to me is it the Croatian word for chicken? Ah, oh, Sylvia! I am from the UK, yeah! It's a woobified version of chicken, okay. Is it kind of like calling something a chicken nuggie? I am from the UK, I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh. A bat? A bat. Another British VTuber. <laughs> I, I know like a couple. But like are my uh, IRL friends. There's like a whole gaggle of British VTubers. You thought you were the only one? Okay. Uh, I I think I followed you on Twitter, but I'll um I can I can send you their links if you want. Like the the, the little the little gaggle of British VTubers. Ow. Get friends with a hi. <laughs> Thank you for coming and checking me out. Hee <laughs> hee. You know the little vampire I drew. That's gonna be my PNG. Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! I can't wait for this. This is gonna be really good. Yes, I did comment on your post, yeah. I commented on quite a few. Like, I, I had them all bookmarked, re ready for when I was gonna go live today. So that, like, if anyone did happen to click on the link, there wouldn't just be, like, nothing to look at. <laughs> but I, I, I followed you back, and I, I, I followed you on Twitch and stuff, so... I can watch your streams too. Ah! But also, like, I don't like. I feel like I do the VTuber thing wrong because I, I like. I don't have lore or anything. This this bunny's just me. <laughs> Because I'd rather have cute bunny instead of like webcam. <laughs> oh, we did it. That's okay. You probably had a lot of people. Are oh, you following me? Thank you. <laughs> Gusty, if you want, do do you want this orchestrion roll? I'll need on it and then give it to you if I get it. I got it. You passed. Oh, you've got it. Okay, thank you. Oh, I got two cops. <laughs> Yay! Must follow cute bunny. That's me and cute bunny. Right, okay, I think we're warmed up. Oh wait, I need to go uh, get my promotion. Okay. I wish it was that simple to get a promotion in real life. Oh, 
Oh, I was gonna check the the FC, wasn't I? So we've got Lesbian. I love that. <laughs> Toilet paper. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's the person I saw and I was like, I need to join this FC. Hello, Dilo. Dilo. I misread it. But. I think that might be the point. <laughs> Wait, can I can I apply now? Can I can you make me uh Yes Flame Sergeant First Class Sergeant Bean <laughs> You like my about panel? Thank you. I wouldn't call going into a dungeon full of monsters an easy promotion. It was fine. Jelly does that all the time. He needed the drawings on my uh, about panels. Wait, what? You must complete a trial as well as complete rank 2 of the Grand Company objectives in your hunting log. Oh. Ugh. I don't really want to do that. I got all these cards. I got all this stuff in my bag. All of these weapons. When did that happen? And then immediately give them away. Can I do that? I can. Uh, hide gear set. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be here all day! I wanna keep Amon's hat. Amon's hat is gonna go in my chocobo bag. The only thing in my chocobo bag right now. Right, I got I got triple triad cards. Okay, I got black Bagothon. Zande, Cloud of Darkness, Morbol. I have the no, no Good King Muggle Mars, Ariman, and I got the Puff of Darkness. I will summon that because she's cute. Puff of Darkness. There she is. I like the little heart on her. You can relate to about 80% of it. Which which parts do you relate to? Neurodivergent gang here. Yes. <laughs> right, let's uh let's go do a bit of MSQ. That's not the right button. Actually, before we do MSQ. Uh, let's go see if Burger Boy has an e for me. Burger Boy. 5k! Thank you, Burger Boy. The age and setup, I don't... Oh, the age and the setup. <laughs> So you're telling me you don't have a 10 year old TV? You wish you could junior, but you're making freaking pancakes! Baby, I miss eating your pancakes so much! Pancake day was not the was not the same without you. We had to we had like pre-made pancakes. And they were soggy!
you 100% don't have a 10 year old TV. Like, the quality on this thing is so bad I have to like squint to read what you guys are saying. <laughs> right, okay, so last time on the MSQ we met Yugiri. And we're gonna give her a smooch. And she wants, uh, she, she's got like a bunch of refugees from her homeland of Doma on a boat. And um, she asked the people of Uldar if they could house her and her refugees. But they were like, no. Um, but Raban was like, I wish we could, but also, like, we kind of can't because, uh, we live in a, is it capital? No, monitorists. There's too many monitorists in these, in, in Ulda, and they can't possibly take on a few more people. Hello, Fizzy! Good morning! So, we left it there, and also people were stealing crystals. And, um, we we're trying to figure out why they were stealing crystals. As you observed, Lollarito is not afraid to speak his mind, nor is he like to change it. So it was Lollarito who was like, nah, get fucked. After I have wondered how man, a man so skilled at weighing the worth of things should be so incapable of seeing the value in people, I will waste no more words on him. Not when the Domans are yet in need of aid. Everyone follow me to the Hall of Flames. Okay. So Raban is going to help the Domans. And I think Doma is meant to be China? Is Doma China? I don't remember. It's like, Hingashi is supposed to be Japan, right? Makes me happy to see people use the emote you made. It's so cute! I love it! It's a, it's a baby baby! It does look- it, it looks really good. It's all my favorite colors! All the shades of pink! Okay, please be a voice actor cutscene. I really don't want to read today. Fuck's sake! Ralban, why? The syndicate, ha the syndicate has spoken, and I see no point in moving that the matter be reconsidered. The monitorists have made their position clear. Agreed. Uldar is no option. Nor Alimsa Laminsa or Gridania, I judge, given the state of their internal affairs. Which leaves our Doman friends confined to a ship. Gods, the thought of them huddled in an airless hold with no hope for better treatment. Would that I had more time to find an alternative, a place not bound by the, bound by the concerns of great nations. Oh. Ring, ring. Infilia, that is precisely what I wish to discuss. I understand the Syndicate's decision, I do. We all wish to preserve that which is ours, especially when we believe it is to be under siege. I cannot meekly accept this judgement, not while my people suffer. Would it be out of the question for the Sultanate to accept us for our limited time? A week, mayhap? Or just a few days? Excellent, I shall keep you informed. Up, up, up. Gotta go now, it's awesome to meet you. It's awesome to meet you too. Goodbye, Mashi. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'll come check out your stream sometime too. Lady Yugiri, I have a proposal if you would hear it. Out with it, Master Alfinar. The headquarters of my order, the Signs of the Seventh Dawn, stands in a place called Reverence Toll, an outpost in Mordona. Like most outposts, it is frequented by mercenaries and other men of action, and lacks comfort of more, of more well-established settlements. However, the leaders of Revenant's Toll are doing their utmost to change that. 
Who is the leader of Revenant's Toll anyway? Is it Rowena? <laughs> to that end, they have need of able-bodied individuals willing to work as frontier hands. Hard labour lest you doubt. With naught to save. With naught save food and shelter by way of reward. Perhaps not unlike which you yourself propose, Lady Yugiri. Though I will not hear a word said against our beloved Oldars, uh, beloved Oldar, Revenant's Toll would certainly offer its advantages. The absence of unhelpful bureaucracy being the most obvious. If they can accommodate us, we shall gladly accept. Master Alfino, once again I found myself in your debt. Pray do not thank me, my lady. The life of your people go to... The, the life your people go to is one of hard labour and few comforts, as I told you. And before that, there remains a matter of how they may safely be born to Revenant's Tall, which is, which will be no so small feat considering the distance and their present condition. Mayhap the old and adventurous guild can be of assistance. Look for me there, Anon Jelly. <laughs> it's time to get the Dolmans! Lady Yugiri, if you and your people would accompany me, we may discuss what aid the Immortal Flames can provide. Right. Where is Alpino? Adventurous Guild, okay. Let's see. We are concerned that the Doman refugees may find the journey to Revenant's Toll too much to bear. Too long have they been sequestered aboard their ship, with insufficient supplies and scarce room enough to breathe, let alone stretch their limbs. With that in mind, Mistress Momodi has kindly offered to accommodate the Domans until such a time that they are ready to set out from Nordona. Those healthy enough to travel will embark soon as transportation has been secured. While those weak to leave, too weak to leave at once will be permitted to stay until they regain their strength. Momodi is a real one. Oh, what news? The transportation remains our greatest obstacle, General. Is that all that the Immortal Flames can do? I fear that exceeds our mandate. Were it, excuse me, were it a smaller number, mayhap it would go unnoticed. But the Syndicate will not bear the cost of escorting more than 200 Domans to Moldona. When the government fails to act, the responsibility falls to us private citizens. I will engage the services of the 77 caravans on the on Doman's behalf. Very well. We should begin contract negotiations at once. Your generosity is most welcome, my lord. After all that has befallen these good people, it's the least I can do. Come what may, should you ever have, if you shall ever have a friend in Uldar, Lady Yagiri. And you in reverence toll, my lord. Well, it sounds like we all have work to do. Lady Yugiri, let's put your heads together and settle the details of our arrangement, shall we? Yeah. I would entrust the task of escorting our demon friends to you. After you have rested your long weary your your own road weary legs, of course. What say you? I'm fine. I'm I'm chill. Oh, I should have picked up a ring. Oh, never mind. 77 is a really specific number of caravans. It is, right? <laughs> oh, it's these little kids! I remember them, I like them. They're really fun. As we speak, the Domans prepare 
uh, for departure at Vespa Bay, where from they will be transported by carriage to Uldar. That said, this is this has all been decided rather suddenly, and it would not surprise me if the refugees required some assistance in coordinating their preparations. Jelly, I would have you return to Vespa Bay and facilitate the process through tasks great and small. In short, whatever must needs be done, do it. Speak with a man by the name of Hozan when you arrive. Lady Yugiri tells it he has been designated the leader of the first group. Hozan! Oh, I've only got five Vespa Bay tickets left. Are they going to give me more? Right, hold on. Let's see. Hold on and hold me. Greetings. Alphano informed me that a scion would be arriving to help with the preparations. I'm honored to meet you, though shamed as well. A great warrior should not be tasked with such trivialities. Oh, don't be silly. I help. Woman respect her. I like that. <laughs> Aye. I knew from the first from a first glass what manner of woman you are. Thank you for the follow, Skyrelia. Hi, welcome, welcome. I too have some skill at arms, as do many of our people. Pray forgive this tribal, but might I trouble you to help round up the children? Yes! They're really fun! <laughs> They have been most adept at staying hidden from my sight, but perhaps your keen eyes will succeed where I failed. Okay. You have my thanks. Pray seek out my son Yozan. Yeah, I remember like there's a bit where I think Flamin gives them some hats and they all just like run around wearing these hats and they're so excited. How goes the night day for y'all? It's, 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 uh, it's just gone 12 o'clock here in the UK and it's it's nice it's a sunny day and I'm having a good time thank you very much what about you hello there I'm Yazan son of Hozan you will be coming to us to Ul coming with us to Uldar right here we're traveling by a horse bird drawn carriage a horse bird but don't you think they're queer giant birds that people ride like horses I'm still trying to ride one but What's that? You're looking for the others? Don't worry, I already told them to get ready for the carriages. I need your help though. We're just finishing a game of hide and seek. Three players are still hiding and since Lady Yugira, Yugiri told us to take it really seriously, they won't move until they're found. But Vespa Bay isn't that big so you can find them in no time. These kids! I think there's like another bit where like you go to school with them <laughs> and they're all just sat there in their little hats. You're not yours, I'm, who are you? I'm Koharu. Jellybean, eh? I didn't know anyone else was- Wait a minute, you're one of those, um, stallions, aren't you? No, scions. Scions! You must know Lady Yugiri, right? Isn't she great? She's really good at hide and seek. Oh, right. It's almost time to go. Thank you for meeting- It's nice to meet you, Jellybean. It's 5am? Goodness me, you're up early. Good morning to you, then. Let's see, is that Arizona? I must admit, I don't know all of the states. It is, it's Arizona. Okay. Is... What's in Arizona? Is Las Vegas in Arizona? How'd you find me? Bah, guess I need to practice more. Or maybe you're just good at this. I mean, the Guardians didn't find me. Las Vegas is in Nevada. Oh. See, I, I, I don't, I don't know if it's... Phoenix is out in Arizona. Ah! Right. See, I was like... Like, it, it, it makes sense in my head, but I didn't want to say it because I was like, no, Phoenix is a EU server of Final Fantasy. <laughs> I was only recommended. Oh! I'm glad I got recommended to <laughs> you. Um, are you playing? No fair, Yosan didn't say anything about adults. Huh? We're going to ride a horse bird carriage? 
I don't know, it sounds scary, but if your son said it's safe, I'll go. Kitty, are you hearing this? The horse bird carriage. Actually, Kitty, can we go to your island? After we finish this quest, can we go to your island? I didn't remember something. I can go to visit islands now. All the children are accounted. Hide and seek. I see that you are curious. It's quite simple, really. Lady Yugiri thought it best that the children know what to do in case the Garleans found us. Oh no, that's really sad. Oh no. I should hope that those days are behind us, but never, nevertheless, take comfort in knowing that we were prepared. Oh. Oh, that's really sad. Also, why am I... Why am I still wearing my brand new ring? Did I not get an extra ring? I did it again! Ah, okay, let's 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 go to Kinney's Island. Because this is really, really, really cute. Okay, let's see. Yes, he's here. Oh, do I have to be on Phoenix? Acquaintances Island. Friend. I think you need to be online, Kitty. You're coming online. Okay. Pretty bubbies. What's bubs? Lightning McQueen! What's this one? Cooking. Do I need to be on Phoenix as well? I mean, he came up in the list, so I'm not sure. It only says that you can't... Oh, you must be on an acquaintance's home world. You are right, baby. You're so smart. Right, let's let's go to Phoenix. Then. Okay, let's go to I've got this big, like... Uh, it's not a cold sob, but it's like, it's a crusty bit on the corner of my lip. And I'm trying to avoid drinking without a straw. But now I'm drinking a coffee out of a mug with a straw, and it, it feels a little bit strange. Right. Right, let's try again. One. There we go. Yes. 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 Let's move. Can I move this? Can I move this? I guess it's stuck there. Okay, so this is Kinney's Island. He's just chilling in his egg chair. <laughs> Duty Hut Island Sanctuary. Pop up. Duty. Aha! Hello. Thank you, baby. Hello. We need to go. So there's all the little animals, all the little cats and doggies. 
and and the 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 baby. What a kangaroo! I didn't know you could get a kangaroo. That's cute. But the most important part is the animals he's got. So first of all, we have the goob horse. We have Snappy Horse and No Hands Horse. <laughs> Delicious Horse. Oh, I named this one. This is Balloon because it's round. <laughs> Early Horse. <laughs> Timid Horse. Long horse. <laughs> oh, staggered horse. Floppy horse. Later. <laughs> Zebra horse. Round horse. <laughs> Mega beef horse. <laughs> Shire horse for sure. Unit of a horse. Bird horse. And horse that kicks. <laughs> Look at all these horses. I feel this one. There's so many horses. <laughs> Did I miss any? Uh -huh. Yeah, we got the emote finally! Oh, it took like a month. I think my favourite is the No Hands horse. <laughs> that was funny. Who do you have attending to your your crops? Alico, Namazu. Ah, of course you have Hien here. Hien, your domans are on a ship and playing hide and seek. What are you gonna do? And Yorita Sarajanta. <laughs> Ala has an animal named Sloppy. Yeah, Kuni's got a Sloppy Horse. He's got this one. <laughs> oh wait, Nums mentioned the the Moogle man. This one, right? I want to shove my face in this, like... It looks so soft. <laughs> His little leggies. A metal horse. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a thing you get to do once you finish Endwalker. You get to have an island all to yourself, and you can fill it with uh, lots of cool shit. Like uh, you can have a bathhouse. I need to find the bathhouse now. That's not it. Is it up at the top? Yeah. It's like a Final Fantasy Animal Crossing thing. And this is your own island, and definitely not a money laundering scheme. No! 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 <laughs> no, my ropes are gonna 
didn't get wet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that, that was that. Let me, let me go back to adventure. A adventure? Yeah, why are we adventure? Let's go back to Vesper Bay. Bath horse. Hi, kitty! <laughs> Oh. Oh. The horse birds are here. <laughs> Thank you for seeing your I I loved your horses. I love your horses so much. <laughs> right. Great horses turn out of town. <laughs> right. Why are we adventure? Excuse me. The first caravan is due to depart shortly. Followed by the rest at regular intervals. My family and I, including my stubborn old, stubborn old father, Home, will be travelling in the lead carriage together with young Kohado, whom I believe you've already met. Though I understand the road to Oldar is regularly patrolled by your blast, blast, brass blades, it would give us great comfort if you would agree to accompany, accompany us on our journey. Once again, I thank you for your kindness. When you are ready to leave, please inform the coachman. Okay. Let's go. Wait, so that's the dad? Okay. You get to be off, are we? Hi. Was mean in devil word with you about that. Runner from the blade says we might have a problem. I don't know why. I'm not, I, I, I don't want to butcher that accent. <laughs> this looking beastie has been sighted south of, south of the bridge to Hamley. Might be as someone's eyes are playing tricks on them, of course, but they don't play to it don't pay to gamble in this business. Now I know you can handle yourself in a fight, but this looks. This lot's here's another story, so I was thinking you might go ahead and have a look around, make sure the area is safe. And if you come across anything dangerous, you know what to do. Yeah. When you're satisfied the way is clear, please meet us outside Horizon. The blades tell us... The blades tell me the roads there's safe, so I reckon we can make it that far on our own. Assuming the self-same bastards don't try to rob us, that is. It'll be fine! Need to go over there. Okay. Up we go. I love the jingly jingly noise that the carbuncle makes. It's, it's nice sparkle noises. Uh, yeah. Oh. An eyeball. In a level one zone. That was easy. Also, is Ghosty still here? I just remembered something I wanted to ask him. Well, there was a beastie. Was being the operative word, eh? Haha. <laughs> Well fought, madam, well fought. Uh, if only we were in, I were in better health, I should have been proud to stand at your side. Hey, my son, no mind. He forgets that his responsibilities preclude acts of daring do. Be that as it may, I cannot help but envy you. Had we been able to call upon heroes of your strength and skill in Doma, things would have been very different. We cannot change the past. Those who fought and fell are forever lost to us. 
Last but not forgotten, Lady Ugiri's kinsmen, least of all. They fought fiercest, though they knew it was in vain. She had every right to walk away, yet she chose to stay. Food, shelter, the promises of a better life. All this and more we owe her. How does one even begin to repay such a debt? In kind father, to, who, to, to she who has given everything, we shall give our all. Whatever work there is to be done, we shall do it without question. Ditch, digging, brick, laying, it matters not. Revenant's toll will grow and prosper by our hands. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey Miss Jelly, Koharu and I wanted to know why you became an adventurer. Oh boy. Uh What would Jelly say? What would Jelly say? She wants to be the wall. Hmm. Glory. Glory? Ah, like bringing honor to your family, you mean? Yes, father always goes on about that. It's my turn now. Excuse me, Miss Jelly. I've got a question. What's Revenant's toll like? Is it pretty? Uh. <laughs> it's the stones throw away from an imperial castro. <laughs> They've just escaped the empire. Uh, it's a bustling outpost frequented by countless adventurers. <laughs> you mean, there are lots of people who are just as strong as you? Oh, I can't wait. Enough, it's my turn again. Jelly, when I'm older, I want to be strong like you. What do I have to do? Uh, buy weapons and armor from Rowena. <laughs> She's the overlord of Mordona. Rowena, is she nice? Are her weapons cheap? I don't have any money at the moment, but my father might. I'll have to ask him. Do you have tombstones? Alright, alright, that's enough questions for Miss Jelly. That's not fair. Why does your son get to ask two questions? I want to know about adventuring just as much as he does. Just one more, please. Do you think I could be an adventurer like you one day? Yeah. Really? Then I will. Thanks for the advice, Miss Jelly. I won't forget it. I'm going to be an adventurer too. When we get to Revenant's Tall, let's make our adventurer's guild for the Domans. <laughs> yeah, we'll protect our friends and punish the wicked just like Miss Jelly and Lady Yugiri. <laughs> yeah, just like Jelly and, and Yugiri. <laughs> We can talk more about it in the carriage on the way. Will you be joining us? Yeah. That's so cute. I love how the, the little boy got to ask three questions at the end. just choked on my coffee good lord right quick sand quick sand Where's the nearest? Oh, there it is. Oop. Oh, I'm a wanderer now. I don't have my LGBT tag. Ooh. Just realized. That can be fixed. 
Uh, get back to Alpha. Anyway. Uh, quick send. That's the Adventurer's Guild, right? Yeah. Let's go! Hi guys! Ah, Jelly, I take it the first group arrived? Excellent. Is that all helps? No, no. I have matters well in hand here. You and La Lady Yugiri should travel to Le Revenant Soul forthwith. Okay! Inferior looked angry. It's past time Lady Yugiri met with the guild representatives at Revenant's Toll. Since I do not foresee any further matters arising here in Thanalan, which might require your personal attention, I would advise- I would instead have you serve as an escort to the- uh, to the- uh, to the Doman delegation of- for the duration of your journey. That's a lot of Ds. For the sake- no. What? Just making up shit now. Speak first with Slathborn upon your journey. No, upon your arrival. Stop making words up! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Speak first with Slathborn upon your arrival. He is the one with whom the Domans will be working most closely, I should think. Afterwards, introduce Lady Yugiri to Minfilia and the Guild Emissary. If both meetings go well, the resulting ties should be should stand the Domans in good stead for that which is to come. Safe travels, Jelly. Okay, let's go. Right now, let's go. You can teleport, right? Watch this, you giddy. Bam, we're here. And this must be the esteemed lady, you giddy, and her associates. I greet you all as friends and bid you welcome to the toll. I hope you do not find our uh, death of fineries of putting. Death? Death? What does that mean? Death of fineries put up. Put off putting. Poor though we may seem, we do have a wealth of spirit and camaraderie to spare. You see, the race and, cr race and creed do not matter here. Oh god! Why am I making shit up? You see, race and creed don't enter into it here. We welcome all sorts, providing they are willing to earn their keep, of course. We are no strangers to hard work, Master Slapborn. You may rest assured that we will carry out your orders in due diligence. Oh, not for a moment did I doubt your commitment, my lady. Pray understand. I give the same speech to all new arrivals, and you needn't bow your head or call me master either. We are in the we are both frontier hands, as far as I'm concerned. As you wish, Slapborn. May meeting may this meeting mark the beginning of a long and fruitful relationship. You get so polite. You're so nice. Our guests have yet to meet the antecedents. Seven hells jelly, why are you wasting time with me? Go see them in the rising stones. That's not what he said. But apparently I'm just making shit up as I'm going along now. Oh. To whom much is given, much is expected. Forgive me, I require a moment to compose my thoughts before meeting your leader. We shall join you at the Rising Stones anon. Oh, she's nervous. I love how the door says no entry and <laughs> like this is the entrance. Don't go in. Definitely. Ah, oh, everyone's moved. Oh, 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 Papalimo's here. Mouth is here. Lamin, Horibolder, Peter. Okay. Not everyone's. They, they've, they've just moved around, okay. I just want Arunvald to move in there. I want him to get more lines. Hi, Minfi. Please be voice acted. Please! No! Tis no use. 
Our attempts to reach the students of Baldessian continued to meet with failure. Arianger has explored other avenues of inquiry, but they too have yielded naught. We will persevere, of course. Yet within our hearts the truth is clear. We are but awaiting confirmation of what we already know. How fair the Domans. I am given to understand that you are kept quite busy in Vesper Bay. Mayhap you question, you question the wisdoms of aiding refugees when the primal threat is threat remains involved. Ah, uh, remains unresolved. I should not blame you if you did. Nor would I deny that this matter falls outside your normal purview. Be that as it may, I could not ignore the plight of these refugees. Not when it was within our power to help them. Lady Yugiri is here? Please show her in. I should very much like to meet her. Aww. Yugiri is so tiny. We have no objections. Pray do so with our blessing. Yay! Your answer pleases me beyond words, my lady. But are you quite certain? We have no way of knowing how many might answer my summons. In the event that Revenant's toll could not accommodate us all, we would need to find an alternative solution. Should that come to pass, we will find it together. Aww. As ever, it's been a pleasure, our descendant. Alas, we must take our leave, as the first carriages are due to arrive at any moment. Should you require aught else, place, pray speak with Slathborn. Tell Lady Yugiri. Jelly. Goodbye. Lamin and I will take all necessary preparations to ensure that our Doman friends feel at home upon their arrival. Though I must admit, I am still troubled about the matter of the missing crystals. Yeah. Yishtola should be returning anon with the report from a field. Mayhap you could wait here and speak with her upon her arrival. If it's a voice cutscene, then yeah. Please. How goes the fishing? Yes! Not anything slippery? Aye. Our suspicions were well founded. The serpent reavers are indeed the culprits. The plot thickens. Has there been any movement in Fanaman? It has been blessedly quiet. Which is to say the Amalja are being no more or less of a nuisance than usual? Summoning a freak with such crystals as they have hoarded. Urianger too reports not out of the ordinary. Then we have our explanation. <laughs> the anticipation there of waiting for voice lines. God, I I really bad at reading out loud, so it's like, oh, <laughs> finally I can take a break. Your explanation for what? Pray tell. For the recent spate of crystal thefts in Thanalan, we naturally assumed that the trail would lead us back to the Amalja. Yet it did not. It led us across the sea unto Vilbrand. Vilbrand? Vilbrand? There have been reports of increased Sahagin activity of late. Oh gods, they mean to summon Leviathan? Leviathan! Leviathan! <laughs> that is the way of it, I fear. Whilst conducting our investigation on behalf of the mineral concern, we came upon evidence implicating the Serpent Reavers. With the aid of the Maelstrom, I was able to verify our suspicions. It is only a matter of time before Leviathan returns to harrow the seas. But there is more. One of the Sahagin, an elder by my judgment, spoke of attaining the gift and knowledge of eternity. Oh. Oh, oh dear. 
Oh dear. Such a disturbance in the ether. If I did not know better, I should think this device defective. And there is the explanation. Got a stupid hat. Soon, soon it shall begin. Our Lord shall rise mid surging waves to wash away the finless one. And I shall be granted the gift and knowledge of eternity. And with the emissary stand equal. Then shall I know no cessation, no oblivion. Well, the emissary. Uh oh. Oh, what a delightful noise they make. Whence comes this promise of immortality? The emissary? We have outstayed our welcome. Off you pop. The gift and knowledge. Are the two of you quite well? You... you shared that vision, did you not? Yeah. Even before the Sahagin made mention of the Emissary, I recognized Elidibus's words. He is behind this. Elidibus. But surely it is not within his power to grant the Echo. Elidibus. My lady, unless we act swiftly, Leviathan will rise again. The Admiral has already requested that we intervene to prevent this. Failing that, we are to attend the Primal's extermination. She will have our full cooperation. Let us make haste to Limsa Lominsa. I really like Minfilia's little Liz. I mean to play a part in this mission. Tataru, pray, take charge in my absence. My lady, are you sure this is wise? Are you sure it's okay to make Tataru the leader? <laughs> I am aware of the risk, <laughs> but there is something I must see with mine own eyes. The true nature of the Echo. Very well. I shall not stand in your way. On the condition that you permit me to accompany you as bodyguard. No. Your company is ever welcome, Thancred. I take it something ill is afoot. Is autumn, miss? Aye. A primal is about to be loosed upon Eorzea. A primal? A godlike being whose very existence is a bane upon the land. We scions of the Seventh Dawn are sworn to put an end to their kind. I see. Know then that I am learned in the arts of war. In return for the kindness you have shown my people, I would lend you my blade. I'm starting to wonder why Yugiri doesn't know what a primal is, but then... <laughs> Judging where she's come from, that kind of makes sense. It would be most welcome. When contending with a primal, one can never have too many able allies. If you crave a more intimate understanding of the problems facing Eorzea, this experience is like to provide it. Be sure to come well prepared. Uh, the audio was coming up a bit quiet. Ah, that's why. There we go. It'll be a bit louder now. Plainly, should the worst come to pass and Leviathan is summoned, our only recourse is that is a uh, recourse will be to face him in battle. Given the past experience, you may very well think that eventuality inevitable. 
Yet so long as there is a chance that the Primal's return might be prevented, we must need to spend all of our efforts towards achieving that goal. Before we do aught else, let us hasten to Limsil and Minsa and meet with the Admiral. She will not have been idle in the intervening time, and will doubtless have valuable information to share. Is the game audio okay? Was it too quiet before, and is it too loud now? I gotta know! Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize the puff of darkness would go on your shoulder. That's so cute. Oh. Oh. Let's go! Also, I'm gonna crack one of these bad boys open. Let's see. Was that good? Was it a good one? Oh, this stuff is delicious! Raspberry and blueberry, you can't go wrong with it. Welcome, friends. I take it your Stola has apprised you of the situation. Let us waste no time, then. According to our best intelligence, the Sahagin had not crystals enough to summon their god. Alas, we did not count on the Serpent Reavers venturing as far as Danalan to supplement their cash. For our short-sightedness, we are faced with the grim prospect of Leviathan's in the imminent return. Needless to say, I am not inclined to let the fishbacks have their way. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom makes ready to launch a large-scale operation to thwart the summoning, and we would welcome the Scion's support in this endeavour. But, if gods forbid, our efforts should come to naught, I will need, uh, I will need to trouble you for m more than mere support, much as I did when Titan walked these lands. Yeah, we'll, we'll just kill the big stick. Lady Menphilia, I am given to understand that you mean to accompany our soldiers to the front lines. I can only assume that you have sound reason for doing so. I do, Admiral, but I would rather not be drawn on by their nature. Be drawn on their nature. What? Okay. <laughs> I will only say that there is something I would see with my own eyes. Is that so? Well, I am not so stubborn to deny the wish of one whose aid I require, but precautions must be taken. I shall require you to stay to remain by my side at all times. With that settled, let us speak of the operation. Jelly, Maelstrom scouts are currently recon recon reconnoitering Sahagin movements within the Sapsa spawning grounds. Upon completion of their mission, they will need they will return to the operation staging point at Camp Skull Valley. I want you to make your way there forthwith. That you might be apprised of the latest intelligence. Commander Fulkbreeder has charge of the garrison. Okay. Camp Skull Valley. Let's go. Wee this place? Yeah. the same hair as Manvillia. 
I've been expecting you, Sign of the Seventh Dawn. On behalf of the men and women here, I thank you for your cooperation. The safety of our citizens is paramount. With your aid, we will prevent the Leviathan's return. Okay. Oh, she's got pink boots! Cute! As you may already know, Maelstrom Scouts have been dispatched to reconnoiter the saps of spawning grounds. What does that mean? <laughs> Though it pains me to admit it, the Maelstrom have, has never faced a foe the likes of this before. We must proceed with all due caution. Among other things, they have orders to determine where Leviathan might emerge, assuming it comes to that. And yet, their return is long overdue. I fear that ill may have befallen them. For better or worse, we must ascertain their fate. If it is not too much to ask, I would have you aid us in the search. Five scouts ventured into Satsa, all told. Here, take this flask of restorative to tend to those who might have been wounded. Though it pains me to even consider the notion, if they have perished, circumstances permitting, I ask you to recover their bodies. By no means venture too deep into the enemy territory, however. We can ill afford to lose you at this juncture. Okay. Also, reminder, take your meds, guys, if you need to take them. But there we are, Wed Wednesday. Sippy, sippy. Also, Nightbot's been very quiet. There we go. Discord server. Join it, we'll hang out. We had um we had a lot of fun the other day during the near raids. And doing a little fashion show. Good fun. Ah, there's one. Here's your restor restorative. I was able to flee this far, but the others were captured. They were taken to the serpent's tongue, I'm swear, I'm, I'm sure of it. I can make my own way back to camp, but I fear the worst for my comrades. Save them, I beg you. Uh-uh. -oh. That's not good. I really like that there's like this little door here, but then there's also a hole. It's like, hmm, do I fancy going through the hole today or going through the door? Of course I'm going to go through the hole. Oh no, they're dead. Ah! A wambush. If I don't get any closer, he can't see me. No, he saw me. Fuck. This time I'm going to go through the door, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Oh god, I'm very coffee and hiccupy today. But eight. I'm sorry. My condolences. Your return. Thank the navigator. When I heard that when I learned that you went to the Serpent's Tongue by yourself, I feared that you would meet an untimely demise. But tell me, what became of the others? I'm sorry. Dear gods, these wounds were not intended to kill, but to torture and maim. Does their savagery know no bounds? Enemies or no, they go too far. I dread to think what may have become of the two who remain, at the, remain unaccounted for. I pray that they haven't suffered the same evil fate. At the very least, one of my men came back alive, and for that I owe you my thanks. The, pi the price we paid was dear, but we have the intelligence we need. Even as we speak, the Admiral finalizes the details of the operation. The war horns will sound at any moment now. Be ready to sally forth when they do. Oh! 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 Price damned fishback bastards. I'll kill them slowly and then chase their rotten souls through the seven hells. Hey, mummy. Peace, Commander. We are here for a purpose, and vengeance is not it. I want your mind on the task at hand. Savvy? My apologies, Admiral. You may count on it to keep me count on me to keep a care a clear head. Good. According to our sole surviving scout, the Sahagan and their thralls have already begun to amass that the etherite deep within deep in the depths of Sapsa. If we are to act, it must be now. The men are ready, but await your we await your orders, Admiral. As predicted, the Sahagan have tightened security in and around the spawning grounds. A frontal attack is likely to be mess met with fierce resistance. Ah, but we are not so artless as that, Commander. We shall divide our forces and strike them hard and fast at key locations. Remember, our ultimate objective is to take the Sapsa Etherite and eliminate the Sahagin priest presiding over the summoning. We are not here to kill them all. They're just the dude with the silly hat. The Ma Maelstrom shall engage and distract the Sahagin's legion of drowned pirates at the Serpent's Tongue. Commander, you have charge over this effort. Be mindful that l the lay of the land there is devilish for attacking forces. Let the foreign levy spearhead the assault and have subsequent units fan out to cover their flanks. At the self-same amount, self-same moment, a diversionary squadron formed of galleons from the Crimson Fleet shall harry the enemy from offshore. In likewise, we science shall form smaller units in hopes of confusing the Sahagin defense, for, defense effort. Jelly and Yustola, the two of you make your way to the site of the summoning ritual. The Admiral's diversion should serve to thin the enemy's defenses, rendering your path less perilous. A small party, I believe, though, should be able to win through without drawing unwanted, unwarranted attention. Okay. Ancred and you, Giddy, your mission is to lure out as many as Sahagin as possible out of the sort spawning grounds. Having done so, take take to your heels and circle round to join the infiltration unit of your Stroller and Jelly. When all has been set in motion, I myself shall cut a path to the Aetherite, accompanied by Lady Minfilia as agreed. Well, don't let me keep you friends. To battle! Let's go! When did we last fight side by side, Jelly? Too long ago, I warrant. But come, let us away. You love her? Merly Whip? <laughs> Mommy Admiral? <laughs> Mama! <laughs> right, go. 
through the first checkpoint and defeat any Sahagin that appear. Okay. Do I... Do I go through the door? No, I don't go through the door. I go... This way. Ha ha ha! Here? But there's like... Here? Oh. Oh, I just kill them. Easy. Okay. That that worked. I should be able to just walk through these mobs, right? Yeah. I'm too high level. Okay. No. No. Just just kill all of them. I won't die. I'm not playing Black Mage anymore. Bitch, you can't kill me. <laughs> uh oh. Go sleep. I tempered the dude. Ray is like seven odd foot, however tall Femra is on that, but Merlywood would absolutely top her. Merlywood is a um, power top no matter what way you spin it. And now I'm just going to fly the rest of the way. <laughs> Much safer, yes. Okay. You alright? You okay? Women! <laughs> Women. Women. Ray, do not concern yourself. Was twas but a glancing blow. Come, the etherite is close at hand. Let us press on. Okay. Uh, Oh no, they've been tempered. Oh no. Damn them. They have made thralls of soldiers and civilians both. Voice acted cutscenes. Oh. Oh. Nice one, thank you. Did I miss much? <laughs> Yes, you get it. Oh, she's so cool. Oh, she's so cool. They've been sharing knife tricks. So that is how you fight in the Far East. Mental note. 
pick no quarrel with domains. <laughs> Seriously, if I am to keep up, I must needs forsake elegance for efficiency. <laughs> Tankard's like, yeah, I want to be a ninja too. <laughs> Whoa, Tankard, what the hell? It's so cool, what the fuck? Every time I draw my fucking book, it goes whoop, whoop. <laughs> How to ruin a really serious cutscene in one second. Oh. You'll forgive me my lateness. I mean, that's certainly one way to do it. Yay! Bang, bang, bang! Ah! Hi, thank you for the follow, Ashley! Hi, welcome, welcome! <laughs> they didn't even break a sweat! Of liability of late, I know. It is high time I set about making amends. <laughs> okay, but big hat guy. How does he see with that hat on, though? You shall perish with salt in your wounds and she in your lungs. Lord of the world, hearken to our plea. Lord of the world, deliver us from our misery. Hey, it rhymes. Do you feel that? this sensation it's the echo what what Walk off, dude. It's fine. <laughs> You're trying to wear the bunny hat. Shoot him again. <laughs> you can relax and watch stream. Yay! <laughs> Just doing cool ninja shit to cut to jelly in your stolo with a book and a twig. <laughs> I 
Just whack people with the book. Die, damn you! Lesbian. <laughs> she a weapon of choice, book or twig. <laughs> yeah, she's just like, just keep shooting him, he'll, he'll stand you down eventually. <laughs> oh no, oh, it's too late. Oh lord, he coming. Heavens Murder, mommy. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> so, anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> I think later on that just becomes a meme. She's just like, yeah, just like cannon fodder works. Just shoot cannons at her. Wait, Elizabeth lied to you? Oh no, what a surprise. Did you know that water's also wet? Swim away. What say you? Nary a single ship. Hells take that sea demon. He just sunk all of the boats. And get to shore. Leave the wrecks for the pirates. He was gone for like 30 seconds. What? Not even that. He's just gone. Leviathan wastes no time. The diversionary squadron is lost. I want to draw that anime meme of hitting your crush against the wall with Merly Women Ray. Yeah, like uh, Cavedon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a mercy, it would seem the primal now makes for open sea. But why does he not press his advantage? Unless. You can only fight out at sea. God save us. He means to unleash a tidal wave. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Whoops. <laughs> Understand, I speak of no normal wall of water. That which Leviathan makes ready to conjure carries more destructive power than aught else seen in nature. Enough to raise an entire coastal settlement. If his last attempt is any guide, we cannot suffer this history to be repeated. Yet how in the seven hells are we to prevent it? Well, it's going to shock you, Merlywib, but I'm the warrior of light. I eat primals for breakfast. I think I think you should also do that thing, Papa. Though our plight cries out for action, we must take we must take thought. So long as Leviathan remains open in the sea, he is effectively beyond our reach. Our fleet is second to none. Of that you must of that you may be sure. But Limayan herself would struggle to best the Lord of the Wall in his element. In a straight fight? What about in a gay fight? In a gay fight, he would... <laughs> he would make meat and matchwood of us. Meat? Gay? We need another plan. That much is plain. Let us return to Limsa and see if we can't think of one. I shall wait for you in the command room. But what if you just shoot it? What if you just get a gun and shoot it? <laughs> Let's go! me casually reporting RMT, don't mind me. Alright, what we doing? 
Please be voice actor. Please. It's not, is it? It is! Beyond South Tidegate in Western Lanosha. Hearthstone it was called. Some years prior to the Maelstrom's founding, Leviathan rose from the briny depths and set about unleashing watery hell upon us. On that occasion, the company of heroes put him down before he could do too much damage. Oh, I've got fudge! But when the bastard came next, this time in the wake of the Calamity, we were not so fortunate. Weary of ravaging our shoreline, he summoned a tidal wave which fair leveled Hearthstone and washed the soil away for good measure. The area was subsequently occupied by the Sahagin. Aye, the thrice damned creatures transformed it into a spawning ground for their brood. Given the quantity of crystal stolen to feed him and his legion of thralls, we can be fairly sure that Leviathan is stronger now than in his previous incarnations. If that sea demon is left to wreak havoc, what befell Hearthstone may well befall a larger settlement, even Limsa. That cannot happen. The primal must be stopped. That was ever our objective, Abby. But how are we to achieve it? The sea is Leviathan's uncontested domain. The ships of the third squadron could not close to within a hundred yards of the primal, nor could their cannons pierce his defenses. All right, hit me up. Get Leviathan and hit him with an anti-gravity beam and put him in the air. Then he's not in the sea. Master Thancred? Our warships may as well have been bloody pleasure barges for all the good they did. Seven hells. Is there no way that we might strike back? I'd like to switch to what the hell? The company of heroes defeated Leviathan, having first lured him into an inlet. But we must needs contend with him upon the open sea. It will avail us little to consult past experience. Admiral, if I may. Speak freely, Marshal. The bug. By all accounts, Leviathan's most formidable weapon is the very sea itself. Waves and whirlpools, tides and currents, all these things are his to command. The key to victory, I believe, lies in disarming our foe. Anti-gravity beam. This, in effect, is what the company of heroes achieve with their ruse. We cannot lure Leviathan from the sea a second time. But what if we could weaken his hold upon the element of water? I have heard of devices capable of such wonders. They draw upon the power of corrupted crystals, I am told. Oh my god, if you're gonna send me on another quest to go and get corrupted crystals... If mounted upon a ship, such a device might be used to prevent Leviathan from bringing the full force of the sea to bear against us, rendering him no more dangerous than any other sea serpent. Of course! Sid built a similar device to grant the Enterprise safe passage through Garuda's Tempest, did he not? He did, and it sent me going to three different zones, talking to like 10,000 people. About fucking corrupted crystals. Your pardon, my lady. But to give credit where it's due, this is something I heard from an old arcanist friend of mine. It makes little difference who thought of it first, so long as it works. Beg the specifications of this device from your friend, and I shall pass them on to our people at Naldic and Vermelis. But before we proceed any further, I would voice one concern. Piercing Garuda's defenses is one thing. Suppressing Leviathan's attacks quite another. Just do it. Just suppress the attack. In matters of science, I am as a babbling babe. But I cannot well imagine that such a feat would be possible without a veritable mountain of corrupted crystals. The question being, 
Do we have a ship big enough to bear such a burden? Mayhap not, Admiral, but too might. Recall you the tale of Mistbeard's greatest haul? It is said that he lashed two ships together, side by side, the better to bear his plunder. By your leave, we might attempt to repeat the trick. The gods know it would be quicker than building a new vessel. Mistbeard did this. Truly, Marshal, upon the subject of the pirate, <laughs> you are as a scholar. Yeah. It's almost as if you're Mistbeard. Now, from what I have concluded <laughs> these matters, the device will need to be in close and constant proximity to the target. To wit, we must lash our twin vessel to Leviathan. This in itself will be no small feat. Ramming speed will be required. But given the weight of the cargo, that will only be attainable with the aid of a towing vessel. Yeah, I totally understand. It's to say, the task of piloting said vessel will entail considerable danger, and I would not ask it of another. I volunteer myself. Thanks, not Miss Beard. It's dangerous for all involved, but we have no better recourse. Very well. Commodore, assemble the remnants of the fleet at Morabi Bay. Give priority to our soundest vessels. The repairs can wait. Storm Marshal Slatherson, command of the operation is yours. I want that twin vessel ready to sail post haste. At once, Admiral. I'm just going to be happy as long as they don't send me on a fetch quest. <laughs> and then there is the small matter of slaying the beast. The fate of Limsa Lominsa rests upon your shoulders once again. Go well, warrior of light. You giddy! You giddy! Beings held as god also exist in what you call the Far East. Legends tell us that they walked among us days in the days of yore, but I confess that I never truly believed them. That I should live to behold one is humbling and equal in measure. Humbling and humbling and horrifying in equal measure. <laughs> now that I have come face to face with a primal, I do begin to understand why the Garleans fear them so. Oh, what's amiss? What is it? A message, Admiral. I judged it best that it could be delivered at once. I'm listening. According to the Yellow Jackets, a man has appeared who claims to have defeated a Viathan. Eh? One of the company of heroes? The details are hazy, Admiral. We have dispatched one of our own to question the individual. I am disinclined to put any store by this claim. And even should it be true, it is as Justola said, none save the company of heroes have bested Leviathan, and we know how they went about it. If this man is of their number, what could he tell us that we don't know already? And yet, having wagered Limsa's survival on two ships, some rope, and a pile of crystals, can we afford to ignore this man? If his testimony should yield to any could yield us any manner of advantage, should we not hear it? Damn it all. The twin vessel will soon be ready. We have no time to wait for the Maelstrom's report on this supposed primal slayer's claim. Jelly, seek it out, seek him out and learn what he knows. At the very best, it will spare the torment of waiting for the record for the reckoning in idleness. The man you are looking for is believed to be a resident of the Grey Fleet in Lower Lenosha. The Storm Private Sent to question him should already be in the vicinity. May your journey prove fruitful. Okay. Hmm. I mean, 
It's not a fetch quest. Um... Whoops. Let's see. Yeah, here. I had a I had a dream while I was like struggling to get out of bed this morning. And it was like the game's going to be down for an hour today so that they can put an outfit into the game which was called Thor's Attire but it was spelled T-H-O-R-E so not like Thor the the god and it looked like what Mandeville wears and it was like you're putting you, you're making the game go down for maintenance for one hour for this and Yoshi B sent out a, a message being like Everyone needs to stop complaining about this one hour. And I was like, but well, what are we gonna do in the stream for one hour? If the game's down. Oh fuck, it's him! Oh! <laughs> it's him! Now look here, you. Now is the time. Come! <laughs> now look here, you. You'll have your bloody story right after you carry those sacks of grains over to the mill. But sir, that's what you said before you had me pick those origins for you. I see. This poor soul was doing the fetch quests. And before I mucked out the chocobo stables, and before I rolled the millstone over to the mill, and before... <laughs> Gods man, I've worked three days straight without a wink of sleep. Three days, and do you hear me complaining? Ah, I suppose some of us just weren't made for the rougher stuff. Alright, alright, I'll give you what you want. Never let it be said that old track two made a generous soul. Now prick, your, prick up your ears, because I won't be repeating myself. Too modest, see? Besides, <laughs> there's only so much epicness a man can take care of in one city, you can. Ahem, the tale of track Tomb's epic victory over the dread primal Leviabetus. <laughs> now, Leviabetus is huge, make no mistake. To give you an idea of how big, each of his scales is about as wide across as we members long. And that ain't no mean feat, let me tell you. What is he wearing? Are you telling me that this man is not a fashion icon? He's gorgeous! When I fought him, I could barely for all of the brine he was pelting at me. <laughs> Must have been Lagoon's worth at least. He even knocked me trusty axe out my hands at one stage. Of course that proved to be a grave mistake. What happened next? Why I grabbed him by the tail and tied him up in knots. But not wanting to take all the glummy for myself, I let me mates, the company of heroes, handle the rest. Like I said, I'm modest as well as heroic. Mayhap too modest. Hold on. Now, there's some as you can say. The some as can say as you the some as you say can never truly beat Leviabetus. You've got to learn to live with him and make the best of a bad situation. Not the company, though. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the attention. <laughs> I'll take it back. I take back everything I said. I was never part of the company of heroes. I'm no marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. I'm chocobo dunk. No, I'm the maggots you find wriggling in chocobo dunk. I have to lie with women to tumble them, and I don't. That don't happen that much. We men is tiny. It's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure his house didn't fight Leviabutus, but I have seen him with my own eyes. It was a fair few years back while I was working as a baker's hand. I was shirking my duties one day, loitering about the harbour when I saw it. A great big massive sea serpent some miles off the coast with a fleet of galleons 
making straight for it. Cannons firing. I was so bloody scared, I saw myself right there and then. What? Oh, God, just remembering that day made me saw myself all over again. Oh, no, he pooped his pants. <laughs> hey, wait, if you're asking after Leviabetus, it means you're planning to fight him, ain't you? Well, take care. He's really terrible. Dreadful, I tell you. If you're not careful, you'll end up in his gullet or at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Why, you worthless lying horse, and I can't believe you made me hand up the chocobo dunk. <laughs> Good thing he's wearing a diaper. <laughs> Jelly, <laughs> Jelly reaching up to poke her ear just covers her face. <laughs> Jelly, this is Menphilia. Were you able to learn auto against abuse against Leviathan? I beg your pardon, Leviathan beat us. I see. That's unfortunate. At any rate, I have tidings for you. The twin vessel is now complete. We wait. We await you at Moravi Dry Docks. Pray make your way here as soon as you're able. Oh. <laughs> they call me a working man, I reckon. That's what I am. Drinking under tube snow, sneaking out the back door, and nobody will ever know. <laughs> that guy is so funny. Levia beat us. Well, well, well. Who wants to fight Leviathan? With me, friends. So, what's it gonna be, compadre? <laughs> yeah? Okay. I'm told you're joined into the joined to the Grey Fleet proved fruitless. My sympathies last. I'll wager it served to take your mind off the events of recent days though. But even but enough of that nonsense. The moment of truth is upon us. The twin vessel, the whirl eater I call her, is complete. She surpasses all my expectations. In addition to her prodigious ton tonsage, she has been fitted with a platform that you and yours might maneuver freely in battle. I would mention that she is nigh unsinkable, but I'm not one to tempt fate. The Whirl Eater and her crew stand ready, my friend. Just give the world word and I shall bear you to Leviathan. Oh, Lord of the Wall. Ah, I know that look. You're ready. Having been constructed in some haste, the Whirl Eater may not be pretty, but I assure you she's capable. She has been fitted with what our friends at Nalik and Vimeli's are calling an elemental converter. Assuming the thing works, it will use the power of corrupted crystals on board to rob Leviathan of his hold over water. Depending on how the battle unfolds, you may well need to activate the device manually. Keep that in mind. Okay. It is expected that the Sahagin and their thralls will attempt to come to Leviathan's defense. Accordingly, the Maelstrom will once again employ diversions. Thancred and Yastola, I would have you assist in this effort. If it is to fulfill its purpose, your diversionary force must not want the numbers. By your leave, I too would volunteer my blade. We would welcome it. Having seen you fight in Sapsa, I dare say... The fishbacks will find your presence highly diverting. Thancred and Yastola, if you would join the third levy and Lady Yugiri the fifth. But what words have I for the woman who made sport of slaying gods? Only these. Go warily, for the sea is an unforgiving place to wage war. May the navigator guide you through the storm, warrior of light. I would echo the admiral sentiments and add a few words of my own. Know that we all have the utmost faith in you, Jelly. May the crystal bless and keep you. Thanks, guys. Ooh. 
Whoa! Let's go. Okay. Uh woo. I can't locate you. What? Kenny, what about you? If you're still here. I'm gonna invite him anyway. Yeah, boy. Also, Fuzz. Uh, how far did you get in fishing after I went to bed last night? This is two heals. Yeah, let's both heal. Let's both heal. You got to level 14 fishing? Nice! Okay, let's go. Uh, this one. Instant Q. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I don't remember this cutscene. Oh, there he is. That cat girl was cute. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, he's got a shield on him. And really bad aim, it seems. Uh oh. Wait, you're, you're leaving us? Okay. Bye. <laughs> Let's go. Are they going to activate the generator on time? I will see to it that I activate the generator. them spoons okay I'm on I'm on elemental converter duty not yet not yet not yet oh fuck okay now yeah 
<laughs> Here we go. Leviathan, Leviathan, fuck ya, yeah. Leviathan, fuck ya. Yeah. <laughs> Round Reborn Primal music goes so hard. It does. Oh, we did it. <laughs> that was easy. We did it. I got two comms. Woo! -hoo. Go to. Oh, I didn't even get a cutscene at the end. I was looking forward to a cutscene. <laughs> They're gonna be like, you're back already? Yeah. Oops. We did it! We Lominsons are sworn to strive till sea swallows all. And swallow all it would have had Leviathan prevailed. That we still strive now, we owe in no small part to you. Not for the first time, you have delivered Limsa Lominsa from the wrath of a primal. Never has our nation known a stouter ally. On behalf of my people, I give you my humblest thanks. It is meet that I give thanks to old Mistbeard, too, for his fine solution. Whatever else he may have been, it is clear he was a resourceful soul. Would that I had a man like him in my service. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh Mistbeard. Wherever he is. no inkling that the people of Eorzea contended with such mighty foes. Suffice it to say, their existence came as something of a shock, as did the idea that they could be defeated. This experience has served to remind me of the vastness of the world, and the boundless potential of man. Though I am but a refugee in this realm, I would fain be of use to you in your fight. Know that I am tutored in one of the foremost combat arts of the Far East. It may seem outlandish to the Eorzean eye, but should any of your people care to learn, I would be pleased to initiate them. Ah. Oh. We gotta learn how to be ninjas. And I will see to it that they are grateful. I have no doubt that your knowledge and skills will serve us well. Go meet baby girl a bottle. Besides, your art is not so outlandish as you think. Would you not agree, Master Thancre? Not escapes your searching eye, Admiral. <laughs> Few are privy to this information, but Limsa Lominsa is home to a certain secret fraternity. Its members are trained in a form of combat not unlike your own. By my judgment, it should not be beyond such individuals to adapt to the techniques I witnessed you employing with such admirable deftness. I'm heartened to hear this. I too noted a kinship between your style and mine own. Though it seemed to me that you fought differently in the beginning. Uh, I, I suppose I did. What can I say? 
I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> Besties. Hi, welcome to the chat, Magnus. Once something of a scoundrel who fraternized with the criminal class in these parts. <laughs> Did you know that Thancred is bad? You stole her. You jest, of course. <laughs> but for a chance encounter with Alfino's grandsire, he might never have left Limsa Lominsa, or received an education in Sharian. Or taken up his post in Uldar, which is where he trained in the blade, lest you wonder. Oh, thank you. Julia, please. <laughs> <laughs> it would seem there is more to you than meets the eye, Master Thancred. Lady Yugiri, I am told that you and yours came to Eorzea seeking permanent resettlement. And that many domains have since been engaged as frontier hands at Revenant's Toll. Mordona is many things, but a place of refuge it is not. Yeah, but it's the only place that would take them in. Bullying Thanker. Hello, welcome, welcome. You people, hi. Know that I would like nothing better than to furnish your people with a new home here on Lominson soil. Alas, wrapped by instability as we are. Our nation is in no fit state to take you in. Yeah, at least Merlin was being nice about it. The old arms were just like, um, money. I'll not have it said that we turned a blind eye to your suffering. Until such time as we can do more, I pledge to send provisions. Oh, so beautiful. We are in your debt, Admiral. I realize that it scarce qualifies as repayment, but if it please you. I shall set about sharing my martial knowledge with your people at once. Now you can be ninjas! Wahaha! How am I doing? I'm doing good! We just we just did a big fight and it was fun. You wished a word in private. Oh? Is your stola gonna ask Merli about on a date? Better not to spoil the festive mood. History repeats itself, Admiral. As the kobolds did before them, the Sahagin resorted to summoning their god over a territorial feud. They acted in self-preservation. It may be that the Sahagin initiated this particular clash, but how it begins does not interest me so much as how it ends. I have not forgotten our conversation, Yashtola. I am aware that man bears part of the blame for the primal's existence. Nor am I ignorant of the Sahagin's reason for acting. They sought to secure a place to breed and multiply that their kind might survive. Self-preservation, as you say. But we have as much right to live and thrive as they. If our own survival is threatened, are we to lay down our arms and welcome oblivion? Nay. Nay. And so you kill that you might live. Yet if living is a right, then that right belongs to all peoples, be they men or beastmen. Got a point, you know. I'll not deny your reasoning, but when a storm gathers, it falls to me to see my people safely through it. That is my duty, and I shall do it. As must we all, Admiral. Stay the course then, but know that it will lead to no good end. Man has ever put himself first and foremost. To justify his actions, he clads himself in the armor of righteousness, though it be a fancy of his own making. In this, mayhap the Garleans and we Domans are not so different. Eorzea has become as a raging sea. If we are to keep our heads above the waves, we cannot scruple to drown the man next to us. When hopes of coexistence founder, 
Strength must determine who has the greater right to live. Mm. Mm. Woman moments. <laughs> oh, thank you for following, Magnus. Thank you. The Admiral has informed me of the arrangement. I have, I have in my keeping a letter of introduction for Lady Yugiri. To the south stands a gate leading to a pier for smaller fishing vessels. Look for an inconspicuous Huron man, then, and present the letter to him. He serves as a gatekeeper of sorts. Now, before I, before you go, I am obliged to remind you that the members of the Ahem fraternity to which you will be introduced abide in the shadows of the Minson society. They value their independence more highly than pirates, and are united by a bond stronger than Mithril, to which they are invariably wary of new faces. Though it be penned by the Admiral herself, mere words on parchment will get you only as far as their confidence. Like, it will only get you so far into their confidence. You must work at every ounce of the trust they place in you. But here is the letter. Go to the aforementioned place and show it to the aforementioned man. Oh, and good luck. The inconspicuous man? Wait, pink mage is a job now? Ah, oh, yes. I want to be a pink mage! It's like... It's like red mage and white mage mixed together. No black mage and no blue mage. So it's like a red mage, but with faster cast times and more heals. Do I go down? Yeah. Inconspicuous man. The Rogue Guild, right? Got oh, business with me, Ventura? Letter. No, it's not half baked red mage. It's a red mage, but cuter. And our um our weapon is like magical girl scepter. Ah, so you're the woman Admiral sent word of. I was hoping I might catch a glimpse of Thancred too. It's been a while since I saw his shite-eating grin. But what will all the doe-eyed wenches about? I suspect he's got his hands full. Hello. And you must be the Far East and other Merlywood wants to train with us. Welcome to Limsa Milady. I am Yugiri of Doma. It is an honour to make your acquaintance. I must confess, when I first learned of your organization, I had certain preconceptions as to the nature of your membership. It would seem that I'm mistaken. Your red mage is cute. It's a white mage with anger problem. <laughs> Laminsa Limsa, that's the place. I want to see your red mage. I want to see this cute red mage. It's like Red Mage, but for lesbians. But Red Mage is already very lesbian in its aesthetics. Yeah, sword lesbian. <laughs> Your Red Mage is on NA. Uh, you could either tweet me a picture or go in the Discord and uh, send a picture in there. Okay, good morning. You're not the first person to say that last. Limsa is a city of pirates, to be sure. And pirates don't give two farts about keeping a spotless reputation. That's the first time I've seen the word fart in this game. <laughs> they hardly they hardly need a secret society to do their dirty work. Might be as people might be as my people and I keep to the set shadows, but we've got nothing to be ashamed of. It's simply better to for business that we remain unseen. And so you have developed fighting techniques suited for this purpose, I see. Know that the practitioners of my art too are desen desen eh, denizens of shadow. 
It is in stealth that our strength lies. There is much that we might learn from one another, I think. Then what are the seven hells are we waiting for? If you come with us, Yuguri of Do What's It, <laughs> we can get acquainted in more private surrounds. Ha, that didn't come out right, did it? <laughs> You've got to change her glam again first. Yeah. I want to see, I want to see cute red me. We're doing good, we're doing good, Kay. We just killed Leviathan. Zupi and you? Zupi? What's Zupi? Lady Jelly, I shall remain with these people for a time that I might study their ways. I have a meeting in a moment, so I need to go, but thanks for the fun couple of hours. Mwah! Goodbye! I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad that you finally got to catch the stream. Good luck with your meeting. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Leviathan hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the story. Though I am loath to be separate from my countrymen, separated from my countrymen, I take solace in the knowledge that they are in the best of hands. You have been a true friend to us, Domans. No word would suffice to express my gratitude. Along, I hope to begin imparting my martial, martial knowledge to the people of Eorzea. When the time comes, it would be my honour to welcome you as a student. Yeah. Jelly Ninja Arc? Bye-bye! Bye-bye, friend. That wasn't English, so excellent would be the English word. Oh, okay. Excellent. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. <gasps> A cookie? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> it's a little cutie. With kitty whiskers. No. Marshmallow knowledge. I mean, Lala's are little fake creatures, are they not? It only makes sense for them to have cute little wings. No. Oh god. That doesn't look good. Much and more has occurred since I held Eorzea from the Galleon's deck. Suffice to say, I did not envisage being invited to play a part in your noble struggle. But forgive me, I have kept you over long. Doubtless you have pressing business of your own. Rest assured that I no longer required an escort in this land. When next you meet Lady Minfilia, play, pray return and relay to her my humblest thanks. Would that I do so in person, but I must needs fulfill my promise to the Admiral. Till we meet again, Warrior of Light. Okay. Uh, rising Stones. Oh wait, Magnus, is this you? Are you the little Lala? I didn't realize. Oh wait, Kate's having a rough time. Oh no! Big hugs to Kate. How do I reply to a message? I don't know how to reply to a message. Thank you. But I sent, I sent hearts. There we go. Oh, there's more people. Oh, all the Dermans are here now. Ah. Oh. Kohado is reading with your stroller. That's so cute. Be careful, don't fall your son. What's Hori Boulder doing? Some of the Dermans wanted to learn how to fight. It's fallen to me to oversee their training. First, I need to find suitable equipment for everyone. Aww. Oh. Yes, give Kate a cookie. Hmm. 
mente. I have been reflecting upon the events which took place during our visit to Vilbrand. If you have a moment, I would share my conclusions with you. Please, bear with me. By all means, it's a voice, act voice actor cutscene. Leviathan, he employed the power we have come to know as the Echo, though I cannot well explain the how of it. It would seem he became immortal in so doing. When the Admiral subsequently slew him, his spirit emerged from his lifeless flesh, a consciousness shorn of physical form. Thus transfigured, he took up residence in the body of his minion with the ease of a man donning a favorite glove. Long have I known that the Echo allows one to pass through the walls of a man's soul, but never did I imagine that it could free us from our own flesh, nor less that our souls could then occupy the next corporeal vessel to take our fancy. It was of this that Elidibus spoke, an existence which knows neither cessation nor oblivion. Elidibus! And yet, though the Sahagan had mastered his gift and thereby become immortal, he was by no means invulnerable. As we both bore witness, he was ultimately absorbed into Leviathan. And the import of this observation? If the Asian's mode of existence is indeed the same, it can be inferred that they too are not invulnerable, that they can be destroyed. There exists a legend which tells of souls who are reborn upon the cusp of each umbral calamity, that they might stay the encroaching darkness. Oh. Oh. To most, it is but a fairy tale. Yet recent events have given me cause to wonder. Could the legend in fact refer to the Echo? Much and more yet remains unknown. But I am confident that all will become clear in time. For the present, however, what matters is that the key to defeating the Asians may at last be within sight. Is that like why you have that little vision when you first start the game? And you wake up on the carriage? That when you became like aware? <laughs> With Uriange's aid. It is my hope that I shall fathom this matter ere long. I miss Uriange. I haven't seen him all day. There he is! Yay! <laughs> oh, I was just about to send for you, my friend. Is Otimis? Grave tidings from the Charlian motherland, my lady. Uh oh. It doth concern our distant allies, the students of Valdesian. Uh oh. What of them? My lady, the Isle of Val, which for many years hath been the Order's home, is no more. Oh! 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 No more? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> I relate only that which hath been conveyed unto me by our agents. An etheric wave of the highest magnitude was recorded in the region. Soon thereafter, it was observed that the isle had ceased to be. I'm going to say this now because I'm going to forget if this cutscene goes on for more than like another minute. But a lot of this is leading into storm blood you know like bringing the domans in bringing yugiri in and now mentioning the isle of val and eureka and like i can understand why the post ar uh quests can be a little bit like alienating and like confusing to someone who like doesn't have the context of what all of this means but to me i'm like oh holy shit this is massive ah oh. i'm just like i'm just thinking about it now i'm like 
So that's what happened in Eureka. You just started Eureka the other day? Yeah. It is postulated that a magic was evoked, likened power to Ultima. Twelve preserve. Curious. If there are no other matters, I move that today's meeting be adjourned. Leggy out of leggy. What are you thinking? Oh. Oh, I knew he was sus! Eh? It is done, my lord. What's happening? I... <clears throat> Forgive my impertinence, my lord, but these orders... I am uncertain as to what end they serve. Revolution. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? Ah! Hey, we did 2.2! .2. We finished it! Yay! The story? People know how to set up things for years and years down the line, which is crazy. No, this is not my first character. This is my first time replaying the MSQ, actually. Uh, right. I'm going to have a quick break. And I'll be back in a couple of minutes. And, and let us, let us, let us ponder on the information we have just learned. Back in a minute.
Hello, I'm back. I decided to warm up some food because I'm famished and normally I, I have my lunch after stream, but I'm hungry now. <laughs> I also got some parcel just a little bit. I'll open them later. But, um, I hope you don't mind me eating once this starts to cool off. It's only spaghetti, so it's not crunchy or anything. Leftover spaghetti from last night. Alfino, right. What time are we on? Uh, we've got time. Let's 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 get on with two point three. Our friends, the very isle itself, everyone and everything. All at once? No. No, it avail us not to speculate. Uriange will send word if there are any developments. Until such a time as he does, we must remain firmly focused on that which is within our power to change. With that in mind, I would speak of a different matter. One closer to home. It concerns the etheric, etheric fluctuations which previously attributed to good King Marvel Mark the Twelfth. That he is the king no more is a blessing for which we have you to thank. Yet all is not well in the Twelves Wood. Our latest readings reveal an ongoing, on, on, ongoing etheric disturbance of considerable magnitude. They may even suggest the presence of a primal. Needless to say, the mere possibility warrants immediate investigation, and I would have you... What's amiss? Acilia, I do not wish to interrupt, but we have a problem. What? What manner of problem? A band of refugees hailing from Uldar this time are come to Revenant's Toll seeking asylum. It would seem that they expect us to offer them, afford them the same treatment that we have the Domans. At present, they are in the seventh heaven, waiting, awaiting formal response. I see. Mayhap this is to be expected. I shall meet with them at once. Acilia, you know full well that we haven't the resources to accommodate many more people. Consider that what will happen if... If you do this, word will spread and more will follow. Your opinion is duly noted, but I will hear their suit. But the our Megan refugees? Jelly, I should be grateful for your presence at this meeting. Uh-oh. Let's get out. What's amiss? What's going on out here? Oh? I apologize for keeping you waiting. My name is Minfilia and I leave the science of the seventh dawn. Twelve be praised, it is you! We're already willing to work the same as the Domans. Just give us a tack and we'll see it done. Tack? Task. Very calm yourselves. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I know naught of your situation. Beg your pardon, Andescendant. I ain't so good with words. We've been living off scraps in Aldar for years now, trying to piece together a, li a life to replace the one that got took. They say there's work, but here's... But the they say there's work, but there's naught for an honest man. Naught... Nautas wouldn't sully the soul sooner than his palms any road. The flames do what they can for us, of course, but it ain't near enough. It's only getting worse. When the calamity brought us to our needs, the rich bastards in the city didn't help us up. They climbed on our backs. I don't pretend to be clever, but even I can see what's coming. I knew we had to run. The only question was where, and it came to me. Revenant's tall. Freshly baked cookies are getting cold. Okay, go get your cookies! <laughs> I mean, you took the foreigners in, didn't you? So you'd surely do the same for us. I fear the situation is rather more complicated. While it is true that we accepted the Domus petition for aid, that decision was a product of extraordinary circumstances. I sympathise deeply with your, with your plight. 
Kate is running around Limsa looking for you. <laughs> but pray, understand that it is not possible for an organisation of our means to aid all who have been affected by the calamity. So it is with that regret I must deny your request. But we've got nowhere else to go. You're turning your back on us? If I might have a word. Tarek is all to miss. Ill tidings from Uldar, my lady. Alphino is... Alphino has been wounded? What? How? Is it serious? I cannot say for certain, but I fear it might be. According to the flames, the refugees started a riot. They went ri wild, apparently, lashing out at anyone and everyone. I can't be right. Why would they? They must have been provoked. The demonstration was meant to be peaceful. Seven hells. Now the blades have an excuse. They'll round us all up and kill us. Kill anyone who tries to resist. And descendant, please, if you won't help us build a new life, at least keep us the ones we've got. My lady? We are not we are not ones to stand idly by and watch innocents suffer. However, until we know more of the circumstances surrounding this riot, I am not sure certain what aid, if any, can we we can provide. If the authorities determine that the refugees attacked without provocation, then those responsible will have to answer for their actions. How can you be so blind? Find Alphino, quickly. If he's in danger or worse, I would have you and none other by his side. Okay, I'll go get I'll go get some. Thank you. Pray do not concern yourself with the matter we were discussing earlier. Ida and Papalimo will see to it. Alphino is being treated at the hourglass. Hurry, Jelly. Okay. I don't remember anything about this riot. Sorry, guys. There's not much I can do. Uh, adventure is gone. Okay. What was that person called? Oh, they're gone now. Something mommy. Alfino, he's fine. He's fine. must have gathered by now that Tataru is given to exaggeration. As you can see, I am quite well. I'm going to eat my lunch now. Ulda, on the other hand, is not. This riot was anything but an isolated incident. There is a restlessness in the air. Tensions long simmering are at last threatening to boil over. Ulda is a nation infamous for the great disparity between the wealthy and the poor. The majority of the populace accepts this state of affairs because they believe that every man bears responsibility for his own lot in life. To an Uldan, money is the foremost, and some would say the only measure of a man's worth. Small wonder that the wealthiest wield the greatest influence. So where do the refugees fit into this social hierarchy? What place is there for those who fled Alamigo and the destruction of the Calamity? Plainly, there is none. They have no wealth, no power, and no worth. To the Uldan way of thinking, they may... Choosing to ignore their existence, however, is patently not an option. General Rauban and the Sultana understand this, which is why they ordered the Immortal Flames to provide the refugees aid and succor. Yet, none would dispute that the expenses incurred by this policy grow by the day, with no end in sight. This has prompted more and more Uldans to question their obligation to aid these worthless wanderers. 
while more and more refugees have come to resent their treatment at the hands of the sneering citizenry. The manner of Lord Lodorito's refusal to grant the Dolmen's asylum bespoke a disdain for all refugees, an attitude shared by the rest of the Monetarists. And you may be sure they make no effort to conceal their opinions. It was only a matter of time before the refugees united in protest, nor is it any surprise that some among them would ultimately resort to violence. <sighs> that the immortal flames should choose this of all occasions to engage in joint training exercises with the other grand companies. By the time they return, the situation may well have deteriorated beyond mending. I am well fed. That was the perfect length of cutscene. <laughs> Kate and Magnus, did you find each other? Okay, this time I am not... Uh, I'm not... Not picking up one of these rings. You found each other? Good! I'm glad. As I told you before, it was all but inevitable that an incident of this kind would eventually occur given the rising tensions within the Sultanate. Nevertheless, I have every reason to believe that this particular particular riot may not have begun spontaneously. Have I piqued your curiosity? Good. Then you will accompany me, accompany me to the Hall of Flames, and I would hear what General Raban has to say upon the matter. <clears throat> Cute cat. Very pretty hair color. Mwah. <laughs> I like it when people come up to me. <laughs> it's really nice. Robon! Hi! An angel! Yeah! Now is not a good time, Sergeant Bean. My hands are full with dealing with the refugees. Oh wait, autoplay. Turn it off. All right. Precisely the matter we wish to discuss, General. Alpha, no, back on your feet already. You may credit my swift discovery to your Chirurgians. Wait, so you were hit? Y you were injured? My memories of the riot are still somewhat muddled. I trust you managed to regain control of the situation. Not entirely. We secured the city soon enough, but not long before the unrest had spread to the surrounding territories. Pockets of resistance remain throughout Danalan. We have sent what forces we can, spare root of the last of the belligerents. The progress is slow. They are damnably elusive. I can well imagine, given the majority of refugees lived outside the walls, it stands to reason that they would know the lay of the land. What I do not understand is how they came to be so well prepared. For my little accident, I observed that several of the refugees were armed, and not with butcher's knives or pitchforks, but with martial weaponry. I need hardly add such equip I need hardly add that such equipment is costly. None can deny that tensions between Uldar's citizenry and the refugee population have increased since the Domans were turned away. But would that motivate a starving man to purchase arms in lieu of food? I think not. And what of those who have not a single skill to spend? You could not survive without the aid of aid provided by the immortal flames. Surely they would sooner sell a weapon than bring it to bear against their benefactors. Come to the point. 
Very well. My point is, General, that the powder keg of discontent was not set alight by chance. These events were deliberately set in motion, and... And now order must be restored. That is my first duty. Until it is done, any investigation can wait. I do not have time to discuss this. My scouts will be returning anon. Okay. Sadly, I have the world travel tag. Oh, is this you? Were you the little cat with the angel wings? Your FC tag is angel. I really like that. The general is no fool. He keeps his own counsel and with good cause. Yep, that's you. Thank you for coming and finding me. <laughs> oh, wait, so... Were you a wanderer or a traveller? I can't remember. Were he to claim without the necessary proof that these riots were instigated by outside forces, the monetarists would accuse them of attempting to shirk the responsibility. After all, he and the Sultana have been the most outspoken proponents of, of refugee aid. Oh, was it like the manservant was like, maybe he was the one who threw the first rock. Ah. Hi, I'd be the cat girl in front of you. <laughs> Regardless, they will face hard, harsh criticism in the days ahead. Our allies may stumble upon the truth in time, Jelly, but I have far more faith in your abilities. Therefore, I propose we conduct our own investigation, independent of the authorities. I mean, you're going to do it anyway, even if I say no, aren't you? To that end, I would have you make inquiries in the settlements suspected of harboring belligerent... Be belligerents? Yeah. Commander Swift will know which they are. He may balk at the request of such information. But I have no doubt that you can persuade him with your silver tongue. Alpha <laughs> I mean, I meanwhile shall seek answers in my own way. After all, after which we can regroup and share our findings. Well, shall we? Alphino? What are you hinting? I am a lesbian. <laughs> you look as though you have something to say, Sergeant Bean. Do you? What you ask is no simple favor. We were just... Were such information to fall into the wrong hands, the lives of countless soldiers would be at risk. Even so, there is wisdom in your words. An able individual, even one with tides to the flames, may be better suited to this task than regiment. Very well. The, blast, the brass blades have reported suspicious activity in the vicinity of Lost Hope. It may be unrelated to the recent events, but we doubt it. I suggest you begin by speaking to the blades posted there. Okay. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Okay, so this is Magnus, I'm guessing. And this is Spearman. There is a there is a friend request. Ah, you're a lich. Okay. Hello, hello. Yay, friends! I may call upon you in the hour of need. Oh, I really need the dirt emerge. How can I blow hearts at you guys without it? Right, we need to go to the last. Let's go. <coughs> Mikko Otto followed me. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. We're nearing the, the follower goal. Oh my god, another one! <laughs> Thank you, Feman. If we reach the follower goal... <laughs> just buy it, you know you want it. Yeah, if we reach the follower goal, I'll buy it. <laughs> Honestly, though, it was my first purchase. It was very much needed. My friend bought it for me um, on my main as a gift for 
so that I could dope my girlfriend. <laughs> um, I think the first one that I bought was Play Dead, and then I bought the uh, the cheer on things. But there's there's gonna be a sale for Hatching Tide, I think. So I might wait and see uh, what emotes go on sale and see if I can buy anything. But I will buy dirt. I got paid today, so I, I shall do that. What brings you here, adventurer? A search for refugees? Well then, you've come to the right place. Oh, you mean those refugees? No, no, you won't find them here. Most of the people of Lost Hope have come to accept their situation and are content to pass their days in peace and quiet. Outsiders have trouble understanding that. Like that merchant who passed through recently. Gregarious fellow, but awfully opinionated. I can't say I was sad to see him go. Hmm. Also, like, I think it's pretty clear that, like, Rob Barn is giving, uh, donations to the refugees, like, on behalf of the Flames, because he is Alamegan. And, like, it would be really bad if he didn't. But also, like, <sighs> why won't they help them? Also, you bought the Dog Mount and the fla Flower Mount. You love how cute they are. The flower? The, the... Is that the lotus one? Like, the gold one. That one's really pretty. How long have I been playing FF14? I've been playing since just before Endwalker came out. Um... Maybe... A month before Endwalker came out? Because I started the game as a cat boy with the intention of changing to a bunny boy. And it was... Because Endwalker came out in December, didn't it? And I'd been with my girlfriend for like a couple of weeks. About 10 months? It's longer than that then. I've been subbed... Yeah, December... No, November 21, I want to say. Because I was, I, I started playing Final Fantasy so that I could play something with my girlfriend and with my friends. But I only finished Endwalker itself like, uh, I want to say around Christmas. And then we caught up with the MSQ before 6.2 dropped out, dropped. So we were doing uh, 6.2 content. On the day it came out. So I'm like fully up to date now. Just before Endwalker, that's so long compared to me. How long have you been playing, Captain? Oh, I missed what he said. A friend of the Sultanate, are we? I take it that means someone else has read my report. The refugees who left with the merchant are yet to return, and I'm increasingly concerned for Zaza Waka's suspicions were correct. You haven't the foggiest what I'm talking about, do you? Never mind. Speak with Zaza Waka. He will explain everything. Okay. Since AAR was current content. Oh, you've been playing a really long time. Are you like a legacy player? Or did you start with a round reborn? What? Where do I have to go? In that cave? Oh yeah, the flower. It's pretty. I really want the balloons. You remember when Coil was endgame and Glamour was level 50? I remember you talking about that the other day with my friend, actually. You quit because it was so bad and you wish that you kept the character. Aww. I hope you think it's a lot better now. <laughs> Don't hurt me, I'm not one of them. I beg your pardon. You're with the flames? But you're not with the flames. I see. If the Theophric bid you speak to me, to me, then I take it you've agreed to help. Twelve be praised for that, because we haven't a moment to waste. Everyone knows that the flames are on the march. Others have fallen under the fanatic spell, but not I. Promises of revolution and retribution of holding the ruling class account and taking which is owed. Ha, a childish fantasy. 
I did everything I could to dissuade the others from leaving, but few would hear my words. Now that one of our idealists has returned, however, the madness of the merchant's plan is plain for all to see. Look behind yonder tent and you will understand why. Even now, he babbles incoherently, traumatised is he by the bloodshed he witnessed. Try as I might, I can make little sense of his words beyond the fact that he was not alone in surviving. Yet I've no doubt that the merchant will be the remainder to their doom. I, I beg of you, find them before he does. What's going on? Yeah, you'd have that special tattoo. Nowadays, glamour and housing is end game. MSQ is forgotten. I am. I don't know. I I I really really like MSQ. <laughs> I live for all that, and I live for like all of the lore and stuff. Like I do all of the side content that I can. What are you doing? Don't draw. Don't draw. Don't draw. Don't draw. Why didn't you run away with me? We could have escaped together. Then you'd be here with me. We had to soothe me. Why did I- why did you have to stay and leave me alone? What's going on? Pat Pat! <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? Ah, it's true. I followed the merchant, and may the gods strike me down for my follow folly. What they will not give, we must take, he said. When we asked how, we revealed- he revealed a cache of weapons that he had brought and implored us to seal control with our fates. I thought about running then and there, but the others were so excited. He split us into two groups and set us off on our own. But when the flames found us, we didn't know what to do. Our leader tried to parley with theirs. But then they started arguing and fighting, and everyone was fighting, and the flames were shouting to give no quarter on. Oh gods, the other group, they're still out there. If we don't stop them, they'll be massacred like mine was. Uh, this one. Okay, so maybe the... Um... What was it? So, Lord Lollarito's guy, is that the the merchant? Or he gave the merchant the weapons to give to the refugees. <laughs> Chubby Dragoness, thank you for the follow! Thank you! Welcome, welcome! Oh, another ring. Cool. The terrified refugee would have... Would have you find his brethren. Okay. The other refugees are hiding in the cave south of Lost Hope, but to approach them would be fruitless. They would sooner call us agents of the Sultanate and try to kill us than listen to reason. Why, the twins might even deign to do the, de the deed themselves. Pox on their bloody selves, They were supposed to train us to fight, but the ones, the ones he sent us vanished during the struggle. Oh, if only we had never listened to the merchant's ridiculous claims. He said our cause was righteous, that the gods would never suffer us to be defeated. Though, if they were forced to confront reality, that is, challenge the twins to combat, and show my brethren their strongest warriors and no match for one woman, mayhap then they will agree to lay down their arms and renounce this plot. What? Is the twins not like, uh, Nardenthal? What's going on? Ooh, there's an A rank. Yeah, go on then. Ooh, I killed an A rank. Oh, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, fine, I'll kill it. <laughs> okay, fine.
Go. Go. It's a, it's a hunt, a hunt mark. It's at least some tombstones and stuff for me, I'm not complaining. I did it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Please rest me. Yeah, they got me. <laughs> what a nice bunny. Don't rest and make a teleport back. No. <laughs> I wanted the allied seals. Yeah, like this one here, this is a B rank. Okay, uh, okay. Um, where do I go? What? Where do we go? In this hole? Yes, in here? Aha! Seven hells, they found us! Everyone grab your gear and make for the rendezvous point! So that's your game, is it? Sorry to disappoint you, lass, but we're more than ready to- More than willing to kill it? Kill us? No! No, you've got the wrong idea, guys! I'm here to help! Oh... I don't like this at all. No, that's really sad! Oh. They don't know how to fight! I don't like this. No, there's more. Oh. <laughs> Aurora here to help. <laughs> You did a dungeon to level up another job and you got four levels at once. Wow. That's a lot of XP. Oh. You beat them like it was nutty. Thal Almighty, what are we gonna do now? Um thank you for thank you for help. I appreciate it. Okay. I was because they attacked me first and the quest told me I had to kill them. You've returned. Did you find my brethren? What of the twins? What happened? I see. Well you had no choice. Better that a, hand a handful of them take a beating from you than the rest get butchered by the flames. Okay, so I didn't kill them, I just beat them up. That's, that's, that's okay. 
Tell me, what did the merchant have to say when it was over? Huh? So where else would he be? Unless he went to Stone's Thrall to recruit others. Maybe. Even Star Ring. I know that that's casting. Um... The merchant who wished to approach the refugees in Stone's Throw was waiting was waiting until the, the flames withdrew their forces from the vicinity. Now that they have, there's nothing to stop them from continuing his work. How many more must perish in pursuit of this futile course? How many more? How much more suffering must we endure before it ends? Find him and convince him to cease this mad quest. It will surely lead us to ruin. Galleon menace to society, beating up others. Look, I... I, uh, I, I couldn't, I, I, I had to, <laughs> <coughs> oh, I didn't mute in time, fuck. Beating up people for no reason, they did nothing wrong. I know they did nothing wrong. I know that. But the game made me do it. I don't want to beat them up. Oh, she's she's not happy at all. Have you seen my parents? Oh god. They told me to stay here with the others. They said they'd be back soon, but it's been days. Oh my god. They left with a man from Uldar. They said that they were going to chase everything to make it so that our life, we could live inside the walls but with everyone else. I liked it when you said that. I didn't like it when he talked about making rich people pay. Everyone looked so angry and I got scared. Are you looking for someone? I'm looking for a merchant. Jerry, jelly morally gray instead of morally gay? <laughs> Blame the game, we all know the truth. No, I don't want to fight them! I don't like the rich people either! You mean the man who left with my parents? But I don't know where he... Oh? Wait, look, over there. I think that's him. Well now, which of these gullible fools shall be my next victim? Definitely not a bad guy. Bloody hells, is that the warrior of light? You! Ah! Uh. He's getting away, go get him miss. Yeah. Let's go Aurora. It's not an innocent victim, I'm sure. No, I think this guy's the bad guy. You again. Why are you pursuing me? You're up to no good. Sedition? Treason? Revolution? That's preposterous. Who has filled your head with these lies? Refugees? The selfsame refugees who terrorized the streets of Uldar? Ha! I have no evidence to prove your accusations. No, you have no evidence to prove your accusations. None. You look sus, my man. No, I will not accompany you to the Hall of Flames. You have no right to detain me. For the sake of argument, let us say I did all the things that you claim. Surely you don't think I give a cocoon's ass about politics. It was business. Only business. No one's watching. Are you going to try and pull a fast one? Uh oh. <gasps> we both know I'm not the one you want. However, if you agree to protect me, I swear I will tell you everything. Oh my god, is that guy going to shoot him? To shut him up? Oh my 
god! What is all this commotion? Seven hells. Tell the others to spread the search about the area. The killer may still be close. Um, at least they don't think it was me. <laughs> what the fuck? You killed someone else? Okay, it wasn't me! <laughs> I don't even have a bow! It wasn't me! Hold adventurer. I would know more about your relationship with the victim as well as the events leading up to his death. This man was responsible for the recent riots. Mayhap we owe this murderer a debt of gratitude. In any case, it is obvious that you are not the one whom we seek. You may carry on with your investigation, Sion. What? Also, let me just check something. Okay. Oh, dearie me. No, let's just teleport. I don't want to walk that far. You're the only one standing there. It had to be you. It wasn't me! <laughs> oh, dearie me. What new, Sergeant Bean? Where is the merchant? Murdered? <laughs> Damn it all to seventh hell. He was not simply merchant silent sergeant. He was silenced. Too many knew his face. And he was ready to divulge his secrets. Do not despair though. We may be closer to identifying the true orchestrator of these riots than you realize. I wanna know. Revolution. It was Nanamo the whole time. <laughs> flame the flame general left word. that you were to proceed to the fragrant chamber as soon as you returned. He wishes to discuss your recent discoveries as well as results of your own investigation. Master Alphano has already been informed and should be waiting for you outside. Pray proceed to the royal promenade with all haste and speak with Bartholomew. Hey, hey, hey. We all know who it is. No, it wasn't me, I swear! It wasn't me. I am not a murderer, I promise. Don't be shocked if you end up in jail. No! It wasn't me. Nug Snuggler. Chicken Nuggies. Please proceed inside. Oh, God. Commander Swift has kept us apprised of your recent activities. You've made great strides towards quelling the violence. I'm despairing. Despite our best efforts to determine what provoked this uprising, the truth continues to elude us. Have you uncovered aught which might shed some light on the mystery? It was Nanamo. This information does not leave this room. It was Nanamo. The Syndicate's decision to reject the Doman refugees' appeal for asylum had lasting repercussions. A number of those displaced by the Calamity claimed it was proof of a policy of discrimination. Together with a group of Alamegan refugees, they organized a series of demonstrations to protest against the Sultanate. 
Demonstrations which became heated, but did not descend into violence. Until a certain incident served as a call to arms. A unit of brass blades sent to supervise a demonstration loosed arrows upon unarmed protesters. Uh oh. They're both pink. Barely any difference between a Viera and a Lalafa. I think you can pin it on Nanamo easy. Yeah, it was Nanamo. Nanamo did it. It was this atrocity which prompted the refugees to take up arms. I need not tell you what followed. We assumed at first that the attack was born of a miscommunication. When emotions run high, they happen. But suspicions were raised regarding the unit's commanding officer, whom I ordered interrogated. Sure enough, our fears were soon confirmed. The dog confessed that a merchant had offered him coin to give the order. A merchant in the employ of Adelegi Adelegi. It was Adelegi Adelegi! It wasn't me at all! <laughs> Telegi Adelegi. But he spoke in favor of the Doman's cause, and has ever seemed sympathetic towards the refugees' plight. Why would he do such a thing? He bamboozled you, Alphano. Know you of the Cartano Reclamation Bill? It is a proposal to annex the Cartano Flats so that refugees may establish permanent settlements. When last I looked, that was disputed territory. Aye. Some might even call it a battlefield. A PvP. PvP map. The destruction wrought by Bahamut was greatest at the Cartano Flats. That much is common knowledge. What is less well known PvP map <laughs> laid bare ancient Alagon ruins, of which no record existed. There are certain differences of opinion as to how these ruins should be handled, which is why each nation maintains a military presence in the region to this day. And that's why we have PvP matches there. And mess around with the Alagon drones. <laughs> we may. We are still allies. Therefore. Interest of preserving the Aorzean Alliance, we have reached an agreement. <laughs> War games. Any conflict which may arise during the course of military exercises in the region shall have no bearing on relations between our nations. <laughs> I can't believe there's a law reason for this PvP map. <laughs> That's so funny. In full knowledge of this delicate state of affairs. Telegi Adelegi proposed the Cartano Reclamation Bill. A shameless bloody ruse which stands to benefit him in but one conceivable way. If successful, Money? he will gain control over the disputed territory under the guise of assisting in the resettlement effort. And you can be sure he'll build an orphanage next to every Alagon ruin. Huh? The man would threaten the unity of the Aeorzean Alliance and risk countless lives for personal gain. He walks a path all his own, independent of any faction and beholden to none of his fellows on the Syndicate. By inciting the less fortunate to violence, he hopes to convince others that the Cartano Reclamation Bill is the only viable solution. His sympathy for the plight of the Domans was not but posturing to gain credibility with the refugees. Of that there can be no doubt. Um. Forgive me, but what could possibly motivate Telegi Adelegi to go to such lengths? What is so special about these ruins that he would risk his position on the Syndicate and, most likely, charges of treason against the Sultanate? Omega. Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! An 
Oligon monstrosity, not unlike the Ultima weapon. Mayhap larger, we know not. It has yet to be fully excavated. I was right! This is just like a precursor to Stormblood. This is where all of the Stormblood Foundation is in the really, really long quest in the realm after a realm reborn. Ah! Oligon inscriptions indicate that it was created to fell Bahamut himself. If accurate, it might explain why Nail Van Darnus chose to bring the Red Moon down upon the Cartano Flats. I didn't know that! Oh, it makes sense! Given the ends he went to to ensure Eorzea's annihilation, destroying the one weapon which could stay the Elder Primal may well have seemed like good sense. When first I bore witness to the power of the Ultima weapon, I doubted the evidence of my senses. And now you tell me there is another such weapon. One which could contend with Bahamut. Bahamut? Yeah, Omega's nasty. <laughs> Aye, we were skeptical ourselves. Truth be told, until the Ultima weapon's existence came to light, we thought the inscription had been mistranslated. At present, Omega is more akin to a fossil than a tool of war, having long since ceased to function. As such, its true potential cannot accurately be gauged. However, if someone were to restore it, as the Carlians did the Ultima weapon, I have little doubt that he would wield untold power. Oh. Oh. The foreshadowing. Power enough to subjugate all Dar like as not. And the rest of Eorzea besides, which is doubtless why Telegi Adelegi yearns to have it. That he should aspire to world domination. He who has ever walked two paces behind Lord Lolorito in matters of commerce. Tis in acknowledgement of his own limitations that he seeks this power. Woe betide us all should we allow him to have it. Pray waste no time chasing rats. Only a fool would believe that secrets can be kept in Ulda. It would seem the implications of the Sultanate's refugee problem are rather more far-reaching than we assumed. You died while you were gone. You learnt about Omega! Uh, oh my god. Uh, it's three o'clock now. Uh, do we do... Let's do this one quest. And then we're finished. We'll be finished. It was Lord Lolorito! No, not Lord Lolorito. Telegi and Telegi all along. I should be glad to know the truth, and yet... Excuse me. The thought that all this chaos was the product of one mass man's lust for power sickened me. How long do you think they intend to hide the existence of Omega from the Scions? That they even felt the need to do so is most troubling. It would be in our best interest to learn more of the military activities in the distributed in the disputed territories. You <laughs> think? Fortunately. Hold on a second. Fortunately, you are already well positioned to do so, Sergeant Bean. Pray keep us informed of any developments in Cartano. Be gone, whelp. There is no place for this is no place for children. Oh no, but she's looking for her parents. I'm sorry. And Alphano can just walk around. He is very much a child. I was looking for you, miss. You said you were looking for the man who left with my parents. You know this girl? So he visited Stonethrow as well? I see. Did you find the man? With my, were my parents with him? They were not, I'm afraid. However, I can think of several places that they might be. If you like, we can go and look for them together. Really? You'll help me look, mister? 
But of course, but first, I must needs finish speaking with my friend. She's telling me a secret, you see, so no one else is allowed to listen. Mayhap you could wait for me by that pillar over there. We require but a moment. Okay, mister, I'll be waiting. I'll take it to the quicksand. Mayhem, but Mayhem Momordi will know what to do. A legion of Galleons, an Aetherstar Primal, even dealing with an Asian would be, prefer would be a preferable to this charade. Sometimes I fear Minfilia is too ambitious. We rush hither and yon in response to threats as they arise, yet without concern for the strain it places on our limited resources and ourselves. Mayhap the time has come for change. Ring ring. Jelly, this is Minfilia. I know this is sudden, but I must ask you to return to Revenant's Toll with all due haste. The situation at the Twelveswood has taken a turn for the worse. I will explain in detail once you arrive. There's always something amiss. Twelveswood? And the primal th threat she spoke of before has been confirmed? I have received no reports of Ixali activity which leaves the sylphs. Go, Jelly. You know as well as I that the appearance of a primal takes precedence over anything else. Oh, and when you arrive, do inform the Antecendant that while I am grateful for her concerns, she needn't fear for my safety. I am more than capable of protecting myself. Yeah, he's got a big book to whack people with. got the the new mount and get it today oh my god i'm so ready let me in you see <laughs> his hat goes so low i'm in philia it is a relief to see you see you healthy and hail jelly the latest news from uldar was most disturbing clearly the only injury alphano suffered was to his ego doubtless it will heal ere long the other scions will need to be present for this meeting. If you are ready to begin, I will summon them now. Let's go. This is leading into the next storyline. So let's 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 finish here. Let's let's finish here. Let's have a sit down on this very mount looking chair. What mount did you see? You were in a trial and didn't see it. It's from the new um, crafting trial. If your book was heavy enough, you don't even need magic to fend someone off of it. This is very true. Alright everyone, we're going to end the stream now. I have a really, really nice time. Got so many so many new faces, so many new friends, and I'm, 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 I'm ever so happy. Um, next time, we'll f probably finish this patch. And then, um, I want to do the Mandeville stuff as well. Maybe just like the first bunch of quests? Um, egg. Egg! I think that'll be really fun. Um, let me just look for someone to raid while we're doing this. <laughs> Come, <laughs> bask Come. in the afterglow. Um, 
Am I the only LGBTQ English person right now? No. Um. I'll, I'll have a little look, but no one I'm following is uh, streaming right now. I'll, I'll have a little looky. But um, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, remember to join the Discord. I'm trying to use it more frequently as like a hangout and stuff and uh, we can do content together, it's really fun. I had a lot of fun doing the near raids the other day. And, um, you can also follow me on Twitter, I'm mostly active on there. Um, and then like all my other socials have been like flying around uh, <laughs> during, the, during the stream. But, but thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I hope you have a lovely day, rest of the day, and I'll see you all on Friday. Uh, if you give me a couple of minutes, I will find someone to write. Okay, bye-bye! Mwah!